One, two, three, clap. <laughs> okay, now I can line it up. All right. <laughs> hey, that makes it easier. All right. Lore Hero episode three, everybody. We're what? back. We're back, and it is the day after Halloween when you're watching this. It's a couple days before Halloween. Uh, but uh, what did you guys do yesterday for Halloween? Oh, oh. I'm mean, putting you on the spot. What'd you do? Oh. Okay. I went to I a trunk or I went to a trunk or treat. There is a killer on the loose in Maine. That is not yes. a joke. But they caught him, and we're okay well, now. And so now dead. we can actually go outside of our house and go trick or treating. So that's a, uh, that's a trunk candy. or treat. A trunk or treat is when you live in a rural area, but instead you have a bunch of people just pull up their fucking cars and they have um they have candy. And really? then they just go walk around, and then they everybody and their kids just go walk around and trick or treat anyway. This but is not like, something I've ever heard of. Yeah, I, I grew up like, in a rural area too. Yeah, no, I mean like at least over here it's kind of a big deal. We go like meet up at like a, a library or something, and then you know everybody's got their trunks open. You go, hey, trick or treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Parking lot. Yeah, we're going to get there. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I went to like trunk or treats when I was like growing up in California too, which is weird. But I don't know. I used to go. I remember the day Guitar Hero Three came out, and then we went to uh, we went to a. Mo- oh no no! I got Guitar Hero Three on Halloween, and instead my parents were like, "You're gonna go trick or treating at the mall," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" I want to play the Guitar Hero them- game, mom. We left the mall with Guitar Hero Three though, which is fine. <laughs> that that was great. Went home. I didn't give a shit about the candy. <laughs> that plastic guitar. I didn't care, bro. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, that that's what we did for Halloween. You know, if yeah, we're cool. talking in the future, if we're talking in the future, that's what I did in the past, quote unquote. Yeah, in so, the past, yeah, we're yeah, time yeah, traveling. Yeah, yesterday <laughs> I, I went to a concert for Halloween. I'm going to a ho- I went to a Halloween concert. Tool, they're playing uh, in Minneapolis oh, nice. on Halloween. Ooh, it might, nice. I think, I think it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, I have no idea what it's going to be like on Halloween there. In fact, actually. About five years back, I went to the Excel Energy Center where the Tool was playing on Halloween for a hockey game. And uh, I got all sorts of cool goodies because it was Halloween. I got a little uh, Minnesota Wild hat. Ooh, it was all Halloween nice. themed. Ooh. Yeah. Or maybe I'll get a Halloween themed Tool shirt this week or something. It's like an orange letters. It's like the <laughs> orange version of the logo. Yeah. We'll I, see I don't know like if a t-shirt that. fits. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> that Anyways. Sucks. It's super sucked. <laughs> Anybody else want to share their Halloween uh, adventures? What they did yesterday? Uh, I, I worked. <laughs> streaming some plastic guitar. Just slaying ghosts or anti-ghosts. Or, I don't know. There's a way to tie it into <laughs> Halloween. Somehow. I, I appreciate Freddy's, the effort. Yeah. Try Five Nights at Freddy's, bro. Oh. VR. Let's stream the VR. movie. Go to your local theater, <laughs> pull out your phone, and just start recording it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Like you, yo, people do that shit already. You see all the TikToks yeah. of that? Yeah, it's yeah, it's common. Yeah, yeah it's, just you it. know, that's a, it might as well be theater etiquette now to just be on your phone. Yeah, and then when you the know? fight breaks out, you can catch it on on camera and it goes viral. <laughs> what right? what do you what would you even fight at at the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? You know, I don't like know. I've never been into Five Nights at Freddy's. Right. I don't, I don't <laughs> even know the lore. I don't <laughs> what, I don't know anything about it. What do you mean? It. Doesn't even know the lore. I know nothing about the lore. I played it. I played Five Nights at Freddy's once in like 2014 when it was like newish and it was first becoming like a, a trend, you could say. And I, uh, I, I didn't get school. it. I was in high and school. I think I was too. It was probably like oh my, my freshman God. or or sophomore year in high school. And yeah, I, I, I played it for like 2014. Holy fuck! Wait, really? Yeah, I graduated, I graduated in 16, and you're only one year older than me, Ooh. so you were young. Yeah, what the for fuck? Your grade. That's and I was crazy. on the older side of things for my grade. Anyways. Ah. Uh, the moral of the story is I don't get Five Nights at Freddy's and I never will because I refunded the game because I played it for less than two hours on Steam. When oh, I think nice. of the name Freddy, I just think of Tom Green and the movie he was in, which was Freddy Got Fingered, I think, was the name. <laughs> hey, That's a weird know. one to say, but Excuse I guess. Me now? Hey, you know yeah, what? Tom, hey, the, and Tom people Green, always get mad at me. That's a name I haven't heard in like 20 years. People get mad at me for saying finger when I'm talking about like hitting notes on the plastic guitar. That happens all the time. So there's. Okay. Yeah. Grow up! Grow yeah. up, people. Come on. Your mind out of the here, gutter. Hopefully. Jesus. Yeah, Go playing a very mom. finger-based game here. What, how am I going to avoid saying fingered? Just fingering. Notes. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to show you how I finger this? I could finger you this real quick. Finger this out. Right? Oh, someone's going to make an alert out of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't. 100%. I'm going to make an alert out of that. <laughs> All right, cool. You should. You should make an alert out of that. Make it your bits alert so that when I when I throw bits at your channel when you're gone, 
And I, I <laughs> <laughs> no, that's such a good idea. Voice. It needs to move away from Megalovania. Yeah, yeah, make do, do, do. it me. All right. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like a song anymore. It doesn't. No. Well, that's another game I never really got into. I never played it. Nope. I've never played it ever. But I probably I've watched I've videos known of pop it culture. being played, and I've never yeah. actually played it, and I own it on Steam. A fun thing. Okay, <laughs> in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, they play a song by the Romantics called Talking in Your Sleep. Oh, sure yeah, you yeah. Won't, you know it. And you know what was canceled? Rock Band Network DLC? <laughs> Talking your sleep by the Romantics. Re-record 2009 re-record, but because of authoring reasons, the the Romantics didn't want it in their game. Dang. Wait, that's the second not... time that they they were upset with a song being included in the yeah. game. They they sued Activision over um, what I like about you and Guitar Hero Rock's 80s they, because they thought it was, they really? it was too. Yeah, they did. They thought it was too similar oh, to the original right. recording, and similar. they were not that's happy right. with it. Yeah. Not even too <laughs> similar. The lead singer thought it was better. Than the original yeah. recording. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, that's, I want to say I, I think I think it was that yeah. one. I want to. I got to do a quick Google on this. I want to say. I think you're right. Okay, I okay. Right. I don't want. I'm like I'm like eighty percent sure. But if that's true, that's hilarious. <laughs> but it was one of the two reasons. It's one of those two reasons. I want to say he said it was virtually indistinguishable from the original, which is a huge yes. praise. Like, that's insane. Yes. If I were a wave group, I'd be like, <laughs> it's a big praise, but that's really bad too. Like, right. The cover band. Cover band gigs are going to be sealed for the rest of our lives, boys. As long as you got me. <laughs> as long as you got me. What I like about you. <laughs> yeah, I just looked it up. That, that was the quote. Time. That's my one hit wonder now. That was the quote. Virtually indistinguishable. Okay. That's so funny. All right. That's so funny. I yeah, am not I talented that. enough. You cannot tell me apart That's from crazy. this cover. <laughs> That's wow. Crazy. I'm easily imitated and nothing is unique about me. <laughs> and whereas on the flip side, I, they did not like I Want Candy's cover. They didn't no, like hated it, and so they pulled it. Yeah, yeah. Which is... so that's why that's why like putting the that press release version leaking was huge because we only had like one video on the internet, and it was like the hard chart, Dude. and the guy was not doing well. Yeah, it was like, like some Australian couple, like, like, media seconds. company or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that was playing it. and then that those videos got removed like a couple years afterward. Like I could not find those, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Though. I know the one. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I found yeah. it years ago, I like, right, like right before camera, we got the leak. It was like a camera on the floor. Looking up at the TV, yeah, and it, was like, it was like the one that I remember. Set like, list, he did a set list scroll, and then yep. he played the because it's midnight unreleased chart, and it was just the notes scrolling in practice mode. Oh, we're and talking we, about different ones. Oh, okay. I've right, seen the one you're talking about. Yeah, I, I know the one you're, talking about. Yeah, I, I the the one you're talking about. The video that I saw wasn't just like a home recording. It was like a published media something for like an outlet. It was, I think it was like two Australians. Ooh. They were playing like an early version of the game co op. And there was a little bit of co-op gameplay of what I like about you. Or no, uh, we were just talking about that. Of um, I Want Candy. Of I Want Candy, yeah. And uh, that was the first footage I ever seen uh, of that chart specifically. That was like the only thing that I had ever seen to prove that it even existed. Before that, it was only a myth to me. It was a myth. Actually, I only not saw, true. I, okay, not a I've myth. never seen I that video very, then. Okay, I, I could find that like one later. Find that. We have to find I'll, that. We have I'll this, try finding that one. we got a scratch the internet. That's there, cool. was, there was some sort of magazine prior to... Uh, 80s release, which might have been like a Game Informer mag. I don't know why I would have had a gaming magazine at, in 2007, but I had it, and there was a whole page about uh, Guitar Hero Encore Rocks the 80s prior to release, and it it uh, mentioned I Want Candy by name as one of the songs that's going to be in the game. So, And at that mm -hmm. point, I had already heard the song, which is weird because 10-year-olds don't have too much exposure to music. At least they didn't in 2007. So Guitar Hero was a major exposure uh, uh, to music for me. Uh, but I had heard that song prior because there was some sort of like Halloween decoration thing that my mom had that played that song <laughs> because it's kind of oh, yeah. <laughs> tangentially re related to Halloween because of candy or whatever. So I was like, hey, I know that song. That'd be so fun to play. And then I got the game and I was looking for it. I'm like, I don't see it. Where is it? I just played through the entire game. Is there a bonus song? I don't get it. Where is it? <laughs> you lied. <laughs> so, so I, I already knew about that even as a kid. And then, you know, more you know, recently as an adult, we actually got to see the chart in real time because the, the leak came out, the, the press release. Yeah, and then so. um, there was like an old custom video of it. And I remember seeing the chart. I'm like, okay, that's probably what it would look like in the game. And then like the official, the official version came out, and it was so, it was so close. I mean, it's not a complex song. It's not, not, nope. not, it's sports, not at all. It's just know. like that little, that little guitar ditty Damn. that he does. Yeah, you get one little hook, and they got and then beautiful, which is a banger. Bam, and then like that's it. But I remember like it was a, it was a, it was like an old ass video from like 2008 or something, and it was a. 
it was Guitar Hero 2 Xbox 360. So this is a rare <laughs> video. This is like a rare GH2 custom video. It's like, why is this guy playing on 360? This, this is sounds so using, vaguely like, familiar to me. Yeah, it was like, why is this guy playing custom GH2 songs? It's like, this guy's awesome. Thank you. But it's like, it's in 4x3 with the fucking bar, black bars on the side, yep. but a GH2. And it was a custom of that. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? That's a that's a pretty damn good, uh, you know, attempt. You know, uh, it's pretty damn close to what it actually was in the eighties, ver- uh, the eighties press release build. Um, the video is still up. I found it. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Link that. It's nice. still up. I'll link yeah, it. Yeah, nice. By Ruby Danger. G- yeah, oh, yeah, by Ruby that? Danger. Yeah. Ruby, Ruby Danger. Danger. <gasps> Shut up! I used to be a part of their community. Get I was out of too, here. and Jason, I ran GH. into him several months ago. Wow. In Alex shot. Discord. Recently, what? I was no I was like, shot. Or no, he wasn't clone here. I was like, wait, are you like the Ruby Danger? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> dude, I was fuck? a part of your fucking forums. <laughs> Yo, I was on there too when I won my first dude, national championships. I met, Yo, I met like several players on there, and I remember I don't remember the name of the player, but there was one player on there who had like a GH1 oh full my, game yeah, FC. And it was like, it's what on the Xbox hell? 360. Like, why is he playing it in 2008? <laughs> Holy, it was my, so cool. It's so cool. Oh. Uh, my man burned a disc. Like dude, he burned fucking, a disc for his nah, Ruby, dude, Yeah, customs dude, on three sixty. Was Whoa. a fucking legend too. Yeah. Is Ruby yeah. Danger's website still around? No, I, it's not. I, I know the name like a little bit. Like it, it was the Ruby Danger Club. That's what it was called. Wow, there's so, there's so many and GH2 three sixty custom videos. This it is was cursed. A, it was <laughs> this a. This is cursed. Actually, it was a forum, and they had leaderboards that you could post on, and you basically like post a picture of your stat screen. Huh. And I, I met I met a lot of people on there. Yeah. Um. And yeah, like I ran into him in the Clone Hero server. I was like, "Wait, are you like the, <laughs> the Ruby <laughs> That's Danger?" So funny. And he was wow. like, "People still remember my website." I was like, "Hell yeah, man! Like it was a big deal, you know." I'm still salty that I can't access that website to this day because I was never involved with it. I never got onto it. I didn't know about it until it was already gone. Uh, because <sighs> there were a lot of like uh, Star Power Paths that were published on yeah. Ruby Danger a that lot. um like it, in the comments on Score Hero uh pages for for specific songs are like path on ruby danger i'm like well i i can't see that oh that I, sounds I, I, I that sounds path. familiar that's why yeah. i know the did name he like now. did he make like a chart generator or a path generator rather and like publish those have. on ruby danger or were those community driven i have no clue I, it's been so there. long that i honestly can't even remember yeah, like, like i, I like remember the forums a, like, who made that like shit where you can actually archive. view the chart like you know like when you went on like slow hero um, Code Man made Slow Hero. Uh, TNA isn't that, isn't was that involved like with the, them too. You know, like if we we go on Chopped and we make a we make a uh, we make a path now, and it's like the chart viewer um, type deal. Like who did that? Who came? I up don't know who that? did it originally, but the only one I know of, um, at least the earliest one that I know of, is Slow Hero, which is still up to this day. By the way, yeah, you can still Hero's access still Slow up. Hero. Yeah, oh, still yeah, up. People and, actually like still use Slow Hero. Yeah, it's crazy. actually Slow That's Hero awesome. is like the best resource for the paths in early games because Chopped can't generate paths for those early games. No, it can't. You can only yeah. do. It's, like, it's you can do Guitar One now, but not like Guitar Hero Three. Really? Oh wait, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. GMS well, had like, GH One support. Oh, what the fuck? Because of yeah. course he did. Wait, I didn't yeah, know that. That's yeah, yeah, it's because GH1 Yo. is a really, really funky game for for Star Power Pass because there's oh. you can't do immediate activations in Guitar Hero One. You have to wait for like the 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 Star Power meter to fully um, uh, get to the half bar before you can actually activate. But you can. I'm not going to go on the do... super long tangent. I can't. So weird. Oh, no, you're going to talk about, about, about pause activating, bro? That's where I was talk going. Talk about pause yeah, activating? You, you plug in the dual shock and you hold down the input? You can actually skip this timer by, and... by just pausing. But if, if you pause on a sustain, you're going to drop the sustain. However, the moral so if you pause of the before is... you hit the sustain... <laughs> watch Fire It Up by Kev. Watch him FC that and he'll oh do it Oh, my re- God, no. He does it in <laughs> real time. That yeah. video that is FC. insane. <laughs> I watched that video to make sure that I was doing everything correctly to FC. Oh, that dude, song. you had a you Kev had a hard time with Fired Up too, didn't you? I think Fired yeah, Up was fire, like the second up, to last song. Fired Up's needed. really fucking hard, man. But then nah, I figured it out, easy. and I never miss on Fired Up ever again. <laughs> I, I love, never miss I, on that yeah. song. I'm so I good at Fired Up. Chart. I could. I would bet you if I fire up Guitar Hero One right now, I'll FC Fired Up within two tries. Fire up Guitar Hero One. If I do it within two tries. I will see it. I promise you that. <laughs> uh, what's your What's your hardest song in GH One then? Mm, get ready to rock. That's the hardest one for me. What? Really? No, no way. on paper, on paper, it's not. But for me, it is. Like you I could probably see Bark of the Moon before I like, get like ready Phantom to rock. Did, dude. Can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. There's so many. There's very, very, very few sections of Guitar Hero One where I'd actually use the Hopos effectively. I, 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 I love the that one. Video I can think about is out. Cowboys for Hell. <laughs> 
The trill you know in Frankenstein comes to mind. Oh, that's rough. Nope, yeah. I strum that shit, baby. Strum yeah, that shit. I, I strum that shit too. I strum that shit. It, it was a kind of mind blowing playing. Like they suck. Like Activision really suckered me in into rebuying the same charts, just in a different game. Yeah, they got me to do because that. Because it was shit. actually you actually got a bit of value from getting those into yeah, game too because they worked still, better. It was easy was to like play. It was first, more fun. Sure. But that was yeah. like the first time. Like looking I back, that, uh, I was like, "Damn, thing. I really got swindled for that shit." I bought yeah. Guitar Hero One. I could just go load up Guitar Hero One for free and go play those songs. But because it was on the shiny new version of Guitar Hero Two, and I have working hammer on, so I'm like, "I can go play Bark at the Moon and be really yeah, I'll, satisfied." I'll, yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay 500 yeah. Microsoft <laughs> points for this, or how much it costs? Or, I forget. 440. It was like I think 400 Microsoft points equated to five dollars. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Well, so 160 was two dollars. 160 was $2. 600 points was $20, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. The, the they had to say how much sense. it cost. Man, Made mom got no sick sense. of buying those. <laughs> I, I have a stack of, like, Microsoft point cards back That's at my so parents' cool. house. I could go I get those, saved those just to show. I yeah, saved every I single one I got them. is a stack this high. There's probably yeah. and then 600 I'd, I'd or 700 grab a bucks worth. I'd go grab yeah, a quarter and go off. scratch off the back, and then that one, and then in like 2011 they changed it so you ripped off the thing because it was better yeah. for the environment. Boring. Oh, dude, yeah. you know, you know how the how the Rock Band exports like had just like a thing in the manual. I stole yeah. so many of those things. Yeah, I went to GameStop and I stole the Green Day one. <laughs> like I just opened dude. it up and took a picture. <laughs> every I track remember... pack of them, I stole those bitches, baby. I <laughs> sorry, stole sorry, every poor person that per- purchased it after I already redeemed the code. <laughs> the well, no, it was the it was the display it was the display copy. So like it would have to be the last copy of the game that they'd sold in the store, and no one's buying those shits. Nobody's nobody, buying I, them, dude. I highly doubt anybody bought that shit. Highly nobody, doubt. Nobody wanted Green Day Rock Band, man. Nobody like, wanted the track pack. Nobody I mean, like, okay, listen, American listen, there's probably people who like Green Day Rock Band, but those track packs, like, once, you know, Dude. once people, like, probably brought it home, they're like, fuck that. It is Rock was Band it, was 1. Was the track pack one that had Afterlife in it? It was the uh, metal that was, track pack. That was, oh, the metal Afterlife track had, pack. Afterlife was, no, it wasn't that. It was track pack volume two that had Afterlife on it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I can prove it to you with with this thing right here. Oh uh, if you look God. at the back of the mm. case, you'll maybe see Afterlife up on there if it doesn't, I don't know. Dude, I forgot that these boxes look that like poor this. They had the set list like that. Yeah, yeah. and so yeah. this, yeah, okay. So I stole every single one of those. Every time I went to a GameStop, <laughs> I would go, and I, I had an iPod Touch with a camera, so I could have taken a picture. You didn't have to write them down. But, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I did. I, I didn't want to get okay. caught. There is nothing scarier to me than getting caught by like mall, mall security, for like stealing or like anything like that. So. I used my brain power as a child to memorize it by like Bro, photographic memory and on, using <laughs> using like phrases. You to guys do are it. I remember you, you deserve that. You deserve that so, so much. That's yes, more than twenty bucks so, worth of, of money right there of effort. <laughs> and then I got a napkin in my dad's car and I'm like, do you have a pen? Do you have a pen? And I would just like I would like quietly write it down or something and then That I would makes get it home. like so much worse than like just memorizing it. Like, it's that's, really that was really oh, bad. Giga brained. I think I failed school. Like that's probably the reason why all my brain power all my brain power went towards that. Like that's why I didn't do well in high school, you know what I mean? I, I look where you're at now. Where am I now? Completely relate with that. <laughs> completely relate so yeah and also like going back to those track packs you know people often talk about how in guitar like guitar hero released 10 games in 2009 like that type of thing you know harmonics like they quietly did it by releasing those track packs they did yeah they did their own apocalypse themselves. yeah on paper they did release uh, you know quite a few different unique rock band discs uh, would you call them a full game no but they are a disc based rock band that you could go purchase. They, they were they were more stealthy about it for sure because people didn't only take bucks. it as seriously as a guitar hero game. Yeah, because yeah, they're just like, Oh, it's just DLC on disc for people that don't play online. Yeah. You know, yeah. But it was DC? cool. It was very like, cool. Yeah, oh my P- god, the AC you know, DC v- Live. V H one V H one was calling that AC D C track pack a full game. Right. They were saying yeah. ACDC is gonna get their own rock band game coming out soon. And I was just and like, it, That's not a fucking game. That's not a game, but technically I mean, if you they're think not about wrong, it now, though. If you think about it now, there's no other way to get those ACDC songs. Yep, you exactly. have to get, they're exclusive you have to, to get that, that disc. track pack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exclusive you can't purchase to the them disc. any other way. So theoretically, I mean, I guess it is its own rock band ACDC game, right? Well, you can't purchase them anywhere else. Every other called, track pack, what? you can purchase them on Xbox Live or PSN. 
Maybe not PSN yeah. anymore. I don't remember. But there's but. a lot of shit that got delisted though in those track yeah. packs though, especially yeah. the metal track pack. A lot of, like like maybe maybe like six tracks from that track pack are just completely gone. Um, well, and what about an- the what about the excitement of uh, taking Rock Band Two home and getting twenty songs for free? Oh, yeah, that was okay, cool. So, until I saw those twenty songs, and they're yeah. like, I don't know any of these. These are boring. yeah, but then like, we we saw some <laughs> bangers in there. There are some bangers yeah. in oh, there. That was good. That was good. Like, I, I figured out it has, who... it has the quads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. End ever after. I want to be your man. Yeah. And yep. like, yeah, it introduced me to Between the Buried and Me. Yeah, dude, and that's like one of my favorite band, like favorite prog yep. bands of all time. Like, I was obsessed with Colors after that. You know, Great front album. to back, listen to that like hundreds of times. And and yeah, and like maybe there's not a lot more stuff to write home about, but. No, at the end of the day, it was twenty free songs that you know everyone yeah. had. Everybody yeah, you can't had that. About it. it was can't a weird complain. way to redeem it because it wasn't that twenty uh, twenty character code. You yeah, it to... wasn't directly through Xbox or PSN. Yeah. It was through Harmonix. It was a ten. It was a ten digit code you had to go redeem on Rock Band, and then they would send a code to you that yeah. way or something like that. Which it is why it's so this, weird. which is why you can't get it now. And so if you don't have those twenty songs, you ain't getting them. No, and I, gone, I think that was man, the only way to gone. get them too. You can't purchase those. Those are I only have... those twenty frees. I remember those twenty free songs were not available in Rock Band Four on release. No, they had to really? wait for it. Yeah, something like yeah. that. I don't like, know. That's a mess, man. There was <laughs> some. It was something along the lines of like they had to relicense them as a twenty pack because it's a. Pack I was just of, gonna say it was a it's pack of licensing. songs. You know, yeah. they had to. You know, these artists had to uh, like somehow they had to like get a deal to like get all these artists in the twenty pack get exported into the new game. I mean, honestly, so it's, like, it's weird. What you're saying right there is, I think, the exact reason why we're probably never going to see a Guitar Hero 3 remaster or anything like that, the way that people ask about it online, because nope. the idea of them getting all 70 songs again in that game at one time is oh, crazy. Uh, such a long shot. Such yeah. a huge long shot. The only way they do it if they had unlimited money. Which And, yep. and here's the Microsoft? other thing. Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> one other thing with that is when the licensing expires, that means they can't legally sell the game too, right? Because we just lost one of our music games in the scene right now this last week, yep. Rocksmith 2014, yep. which I, I of course, feel really strongly about that because I used to work on it. And mm-hmm. I, I loved Rocksmith 2014. Cool that they at least are still supporting Plus, but the reason it's off store shelves is because the license was only for 10 years. And, yeah, and to the, the, the day, it's off, you know? Yeah, yeah and like – um. You know, games that games that do currently exist, you know, like right now, rhythm games that do exist, they, they have songs that get delisted all the time. Sure. Tyco. Tyco is a big one. Um, it used to be on Game Pass for a little bit. So it's like, hey, maybe Guitar Hero could be on Game Pass one day. I mean, like, but that's, you know, <laughs> we, we already talked about that, like, what, two episodes ago. Go listen like, to episode um, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> episode, episode one. But yeah, no, like Tyco, they have they have songs that like they go away and they rotate they rotate shit in and out because of like the and like Japanese song licensing is just a different world compared to, you know, American yeah. artists. Sure. Um which brings me to that that also reminds me there was gonna be a rock band Japan with Galnarius in it. They never came oh, out with it. I never I heard of this. Was have Galnarius. It was Ooh. it was only it was only in the talking stages. Um, I would like to bring up the source for this. I remember having one, God, but I don't that, have. Would it love to right see now. that. You, you yeah. saying that just reminds me of when we were at round one and we we played uh, Destiny in Guitar Freaks, and it's oh, like, yeah. it, and it's gathered the solo. It's like there, and it just ends. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it just fucking ends, and we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I got a he, Kotaku article. He, he was I'll, playing I'll drums next to me. Like the, the the machines were linked, so he was playing drums and I was playing guitar. <laughs> it was oh, fucking crazy. shit! Shit! This is not it. Never mind. This is about Ooh. them releasing the game Rock Band in Japan. Oh, and that, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, but, Rock Band Japan yeah, did exist. I, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, but we were talking yeah. about Green Day Rock Band earlier. About oh, nobody wanted to play Green Day Rock Band. That was actually the catalyst for another game being canceled. Uh, that was yes. Pearl Jam Rock Band. Yep. Sure. Pearl Jam was supposed to have I, a band centric game that uh, Pearl Jam was, pulled out. Yeah, it was it was a yeah. full fledged game. It was done, ready to ship, as far as I I'm aware from what I heard. And then they just pulled it because Pearl Jam was like, nah, nah. That last game you just did did not sell even close to what you expected and what we expected our game to sell for. We're we're done. We're out. You know, so that see, game got thing, shelved. This, forever. See, the thing is with with Green Day Rock Band and Pearl Jam Rock Band is that Pearl Jam Rock Band was going to be Pearl Jam Live. Rock band. Yes, it was gonna yes. Be live. and it was yes. going to be videos, full motion videos in the back. So it wasn't their three. It wasn't Eddie Vedder in three D, 
you know, yeah, jamming very out different. Uh, in, a, in a thing. It was going to be like the PS2 and Wii version of Rock Band 1, yeah. where there's a full motion video in the back. So every experience is going to be the same. You're just hitting notes to this concert. And I, I got like I Guitar Hero Live. Guys, Remember that game? How great James that went? Live I've, early. Yeah. Yeah. So I've seen, I've seen gameplay of Pearl, Pearl Jam Rock Band. Then I, I can't give up the source because I want to keep them safe. But they True. know who they are, right? They know who they are. And, um, yes, it was a video background of a live concert. Um, I won't say the song either just because, you know. But I've seen it. Um, it did It did exist, right? And, uh, you know, sometimes, you you know, as badly as you want to share something, like, I don't have the footage myself, but I've seen it. And um, it existed. But Pearl Jam pulled out because they saw how games like Green Day Rock Band were performing. And they also started to see that stems were starting to be ripped from rock band games, and they did not mm. like that. They were not fans, especially like so, the live performances. Yes, they, they would be giving those up. Yeah. But then, so like, they, what's weird yeah. is that like Green Day Rock Band even had a little bit of uh, they did DIY stems for some of the Duke. Yeah, songs. a couple of songs. Yeah, Chump Wait, did they was really? the one that comes to uh, mind. Yeah, yeah. Chump, Chump going into uh, into Longview. Those songs don't actually have multi tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if so you miss during miss, Chump, it sounds yeah, really go. weird. It sounds like it, it kind just of goes like, to a like weird mono dry version of the song. But like, then you start hitting notes again, and it sounds full again. Like is it like you know like uh, so it's like weird. Guitar it's like Hero three four. like Guitar Hero three custom songs type type yeah. deal. And if but, you whammy, it gets all warbly and weird. Yeah, like the entire I, track that, is dude, warm, that's warm, the warm, one warm. thing I miss from the Guitar Hero three era is just making songs sound terrible. I love doing that. <laughs> Make them out of pitch. Yeah, I love doing that, man. Hey, yeah. all I could think of from this though is Aerosmith made out like a bandit. They oh, made yeah. the yeah, they, they got yeah. they got the biggest W here out of any band because they got in before the band craze got super crazy and they made so much money. They said yeah, in an more interview, money than their whole discography. Yes. <laughs> How did they make more money off Guitar Hero Aerosmith than their entire discography? That's Aerosmith we're talking about. What? Yeah, I mean Aerosmith. <laughs> um, amongst our little community of Guitar Hero people, it's not the most popular band because we. it's kind of like, why did they even get a game? But, I mean, yeah. in the grand scheme of things, Aerosmith is a huge band yeah. with international recognition. They're one of the, one of the yeah, best bands got, ever. You got the parents and the kids looking at it, and they're like, oh, mom and dad, what's Aerosmith? And they're like, oh, son, Aer- was it that Vin- Vince McMahon meme? And they're, they're, he's going like this. <laughs> uh, I've yeah, seen that dad, two billion Aerosmith? times this past weekend. Yeah, dude, I, so, I am, dude, I am so, burnt out and already. So, yeah, I'm so burnt out on seeing that. But like, sometimes there's some really good ones, and I can't, I can't pass it up. <laughs> but Air, yeah, Air, no, Aerosmith. Aerosmith was, yeah, it was like, okay. There was some, there's some terrible. decent, like overall chart wise. It's not yeah. that bad. But visibility like, 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 of notes with that Joe Perry fretboard, dude, oh, yeah, I, not going to be great I, to me. It's not going to be great to me. <laughs> I have seen the Joe Perry guitar battle like a long time ago, and like it was just like because it was the it was the easiest guitar battle. But that fretboard, even back then, I knew like I was like, God, this sucks. Like, a and lot. the fact that the you know uh, red, yellow, and blue are kind of spammed in that in that guitar battle, and then that's yeah. the middle of the fretboard where you can't fucking see the yellow note. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's doesn't, not it, great. doesn't it have a doesn't it have a four note chord at the end? Yeah, I don't. It does. I don't remember. It I don't does. Remember. That was the first. That was the first one yes. on guitar. There was one on rhythm in, yeah. or a whole bunch of on rhythm in "Go That Far" for guitar. And go 3. that far, yeah. <laughs> of course, like one of the worst songs in Guitar Year Three. <laughs> Bro, don't Sunset talk shit about Boulevard, Brett, Brett Michaels. Hills. Did you ever notice that that they misspelled Brett, Brett Michaels in the cheat menu? Yeah, Brett Michaels. Yeah, Brett Michaels. Michaels. <laughs> yeah, I did not notice that until a few years back. It, it bothers me every time I see it now. Yeah, now Brett That's Michaels. Really it's it spelled correctly about, like, in like when the song starts, like with "Talk Dirty to Me." It says, you know, "Poison" featuring Brett Michaels or whatever. It's spelled correctly there, but not in the cheats menu. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no proofreading. Now, wonder, wonder if he knew about that. I don't think he does. I hope he. Does. I don't know. I'll ask him next time I talk to him. Yeah. Oh, cool. 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 <laughs> what were you saying, JP? Like, what were we gonna talk about? Well, I was just thinking, like, in terms of like, because GH three had some definite like stinkers, and like, I, I, we, I know we wanted to like try to talk about DLC. So, what is it? She builds quick machines? Isn't that like yeah, really that, bad? Yeah, that, that whole Velvet Revolver pack was definitely... I yeah, want to talk to whoever charted that shit. I want to talk slither. to you personally. Uh, I need to know yeah, what was going slither. through your I fucking mean, mind, bro. What was it? There was some... Uh, there was a guy's LinkedIn that was like former, uh, former Activision, and they're like... 
And due to Activision's, you know, tough DLC release times, we had to, we got DLC out as quick as possible for Guitar Hero 3. And I'm like, that explains everything. Yeah, that sure. explains it everything. Really. It's a product of Dev Crunch and, like, all the hype. And so... I and think, the devs like, probably like, stopped caring. They were like, whatever, man. Yeah, like, even the, I think I asked Chris Vance, and yep. he was like, we, we did not touch DLC at all, I don't think. Yeah, yeah it was like, definitely, it was like the definitely B battles, teams working on that because all their A team was working on the new game that was actually going to sell for sixty bucks to one hundred and eighty bucks for like the full band bundle. Yeah. Why would I spend mo- spend time on a two dollar song to sell? Like, no, just thanks. Thinking, thinking back to like GH three DLC, like I would say most of it wasn't sharded well. Like I, probably Death Magnetic was like the most well done in terms I, of like charts, but like I I just I think a like, lot of the A team were working on that. Same. You know, yeah. Because like, th- that's a big deal, you know, like Metallica, yeah. the biggest metal band like on earth, going, hey, we want to release our new album on Guitar Hero, yep. yeah. like, exclusively. They did it there first. And, like, that's, that, you know, like, hey, Metallica probably should have done the band game, like, ASAP. Like, yeah. they should have done, they should have been the band game instead of Aerosmith. But well, like, no, they because probably, then they wouldn't like, have had you know, guitars. They would they would only have guitars and bass, no drum vocals. So it's actually better that they did it after World Tour. Yeah, think or maybe way. it should have been the first band game. Who knows? Maybe that's why. That would have been fucking crazy you know? if they were the first like full band game. But yeah. I, I understand why they had to come out with World Tour first. Um, and for that for that Death Magnetic DLC as well, it, it was also it was definitely planned before it came out that this is going to be a multi game DLC. This is the yeah. only DLC song really at that time before World Tour that was playable in multiple games. You could play it in Guitar Hero Three and then on onto World Tour and every game after that. Main yep. game that is you can play it in fucking. Yeah, if you, look, if you look, look in the file, but, you look at the file structure and it's just every every fucking file crammed into the one package <laughs> so that it would work in Guitar Hero Three and the games afterward. It looks really really scuffed. Mm-hmm. Here's what that's, I why, say. that's why the package was so big too. It's like almost two gigs. Yeah. About Metallica. Here's here's the one thing I'll say. I can't reveal who told me this, hey. but but uh, I will say that there was another music game or two that Metallica was in talks with to add things to, but because of Guitar Hero Metallica, their perception of what should be offered to them was so skewed that they said, well, unless you give us what they did, we won't work with you. That makes a lot of sense. They, they got treated too sense. well. They got <laughs> yeah. they got pampered. That was like first 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 class treatment is what Never saw an Activision did for Metallica. And but I did not blame them for a second. They yeah. got they got the red carpet deal, man. They really did. Like they That's in, that's absolutely they, they, fucking crazy. They, they were very, 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 very heavily involved in the entire development of Guitar Hero Metallica. Like they were and it feels that way as a player. Aspect. It does. Like yeah. they're you really feel like you're playing the band. That's the thing that they did uh, very well with the game is that they got that right. And, uh, you know, we're going to, like, Alec, we're going to have to get Andy on here at some point because, like, he worked on I'd that I'd love game, to. You know, man. like, yes. he's like, he shown his mocap footage. It's fascinating. It's like, so like, he cool. played, like, like, he's the one that plays Beautiful Morning by Machine Head, right? Oh, yeah. wow. Like, that, the mocap. that video surfaced? Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, it's really, so really cool, awesome. Man. So cool. He was the one who tried to push for Expert Plus and World Tour, and they just couldn't add it. They yeah. couldn't. Like he wow, wanted it so bad, and that would have been so great to have Expert Plus in there. Um, but yeah, at least no. we got a couple of them for the exports. We did. Yeah, we did. Like, we did. Like yeah, Overkill. Like overkill. That's the huge one. Overkill. Oh, I love yeah, that drum overkill, track. Man. It's I used so to play fun. that all the time. It was so fun, just always just kicking down with my left and right, left and right, <laughs> yeah. the entire fucking song. It was great. Well, that's how Overkill is. It's it's you know it, it's very literal. Like you feel overkill. that way on guitar too. Like, you think it's going to end, and then it just starts again. <laughs> yeah, it ends about four times, and there's a whole bunch of different crazy drum fills. I was obsessed with that song for, like, a week, trying to FC yeah. it, but I never could because those fills towards the end. According yeah, to Score Hero, the, yeah. I had the first ever FC on it. Ooh! Oh! Very nice. Very nice. Very Very nice. nice. Very those nice. little two descending triplets are a bitch. And weren't, hey. aren't they, like, taps, too? They're taps, uh, too. So yeah, they have really blue, early. green. Orange, blue, green, orange I red, green. I think it's or red. It's orange, red, green. Orange, red, yeah. green. That's what it was. Because oh, yes. it goes into a that's slow evil. descent. It's a slow ascending. Hopos. And then to, into a really quick yeah. uh, orange, red, green, orange, red, green. Super missable. Yeah, that was evil. Yeah. Evil charting right there. <laughs> but like once, yeah, once Jason, you and I were playing that shit competitively, we knew that chart like the back of our hand. Oh, God, yeah. That was, that I mean, like that purple was. That and like Purple Haze, man. That and Purple Haze. That was haze. peak haze. of competitive exactly. days. Peak of it. And then like now, nobody, wait, nobody could point, do Satch Boogie. I couldn't question. figure out how, I, I couldn't find a consistent method at the time. Question about like these flowers. tournaments. When you when you picked songs, was there like a pool of songs to pick from, or did you yes. have the entire disc? Yes. Okay. 
Usually, there's a pool. Um, I wish I could pull. I might be able to pull it up. The, there should be a rule set like archived for it. Somewhere WCG on for sure on Score Hero. I know for a fact because I think I had I made the topics on there. Okay. Okay. Um, um, but yeah, it was, it was maybe like a pool of like 10, 10, 10 12 songs, 12 maybe songs. Yeah. And then only a certain, a certain amount of them were choosable during certain rounds, I think. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically I, it, it was it usually, was weird, yeah, it was usually best of three depending on the tournament and it would be like, okay, so if it was you and me, uh, like JP versus JP and yeah. We've got oh well I can I'm picking this song and you're picking this song and if we each split it one one then the tiebreakers decided by the tournament. Oh okay, interesting. Yeah, it it, it was a weird set list, man. Because like there's there's a couple of songs in there where I was like, are you sure if this is supposed to be a competitive song? Like this makes no sense. What was that uh that CCR song that was in World Tour? Oh, oh up around God. the band. Up around I was the like, band? why is that in the fucking set list, bro? Is that That's just a weird to, choice. Is that just to fuck with people who don't know Star Power Paths? Squeezy. And then, like, it, I soon found out that that wasn't a competitive pick, and I was like, okay, yeah. thank God. Yeah. <laughs> no, the competitive the, the competitive side for World Tour was, like, Assassin and... Yeah, Assassin, um, is fu- that was fucked up because of the strumming at the end. It's Mr. Like, yeah. Crowley. Crowley. It's heavy track. Yeah, what Mr. About, uh, Crowley, I remember playing that a lot. The that got Trapped Under Ice. I don't think Love Removal Machine no. was on there. No. No. Okay. Oh, good. That, that is, song's yeah, RNG that's City. A, that one was yeah. disgusting. I think Love Removal it, Machine's fucked up. <laughs> um, And then... Purple Haze. <sighs> Purple Haze was on there. Hot for Teacher was on there. Yep. Satch Boogie was on there. Uh, oh, God. I just... I can't remember off the top of my head. It's, it's just... I can't even find it on Google. It's so old. I'll start <laughs> it's looking. So Lost old. Media. Oh, BYOB yeah. was on that shit. BYOB yeah, for BYOB. sure. Yeah, BYOB. I remember practicing that one a lot because I was like the probably almost every match we were playing BYOB, but it yeah. was a, it was a pretty big list. Like it like matches didn't it really get boring. Practicing for them was fucking boring. Scream Aim yeah. Fire, Scream Aim oh, Fire was Scream on there. Fire, yeah. that That's one was choice. huge. And I, at some point, like everyone was able to just FC that song on command. Which nowadays, like, that's really tough. It's still pretty yeah. tough because of the tap notes. It's like those two really really quick like. Uh, Blue, yellow, blue, orange, blue, orange. Yeah, the, real, uh, real quick solo. tip, guys. Those last two are much faster than the rest, so you got to do 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 it really yeah. quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And early, too. Don't forget early. Early. Very early. Oh, we love playing early with tap notes. Got to. That, that's, the, that's the tip. If any of y'all out there are struggling with tap notes, or, just hit everything or strum, early. Or strum the last one if you need to. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? Is it oh, gone? no. I just saw that this this is from the national tournament that we were talking about that Alec and I played at and it's promoting someone who is now in jail because apparently they were doing a uh, Guinness world record for getting the highest score they could on uh rock band I, two expert drums. Oh, oh I know what you're oh. talking about, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking you're going to go to the rooftops level oh. here. Oh no. What are we talking about? One of the guys wait, that was wait, on wait, Ultimate are you talking rooftops? Are you saying, what do you mean rooftops level? Uh, I'm seeing you know, Lost Profits. Uh, Lost Profits, yeah. the dude yeah. from there who's a uh, yeah. piece of shit. No, no, no. He uh, he did that too. Yeah, this yeah, guy. This guy that yeah. we're talking about. He did. Uh, who that are we too. talking about? What, this guy's name spilled was spilled the T. Uh, was, prodigy. Yeah, his, name, his name was Prodigy. X Prodigy. He was on oh World's uh, yeah. Ultimate Gamer. He was Gamer. on the World Tyre game, Ultimate Gamer. He also I for Sea of name. Thieves. He got World's first Pirate Legend without even knowing how to play the game. Um, Wait, and everybody this, this was recently really mad about that, huh? This recently, Sea of Thieves? This was like when Sea of Thieves first came out in like 2015, 14. But like he got like his community to like just give him loot and stuff to turn in so that he could oh, reach sucks. the top rank. And so in a way, he played the most true pirate way <laughs> without, <laughs> without doing a single damn thing. Yeah. Um, Fuck but, the rules. Yeah. No, but he, he did some really, really bad stuff and now yeah. he's in jail. Yeah. <laughs> So really, yeah, really that's last I things. heard. I guess we'll yep. leave it at that. I don't need to. I, don't, I guess yeah. I'll Google that. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not sure yeah. if we want to talk about that. I, I, I'm over here just trying to get information. Like, what songs did we play? Oh, they're promoting that. Who is playing rock band? Oh no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've seen. Yeah, I've seen like old World Cyber Games 2008 videos, and I'm like, where's the fucking song list? Where is it? <laughs> it, it was somewhere. It, it's it's got to be somewhere. But I think if we hunt hard enough, we'll we'll eventually find it. Um, as, as far as competitive set lists go too, like I, I also did world cyber games for guitar hero five and that was the one that I won in 2010. 
and mm. uh, mm-hmm. dude, fucking uh, what is it? Guitar Hero Five has like no hard songs in it. Uh, like, yeah, I feel like yeah. this is this is easy to guess. Scatterbrain. Yeah, demons. it was like Scatterbrain. Uh, you know what? I I don't know if Demons was in there. Should have been. I that'd, that'd I don't know surprising. why Demons wasn't in there or if I banned it every single time. But one big one was Two Minutes to Midnight. Two minutes yeah. to midnight was yeah, on there. Totally that one that. was tough. I can never yeah. like be super consistent, but I get FC like scatterbrain on command. So I was like, I'm I'm chill with this. And then uh, American Girl, American Girl, American was on Girl that too. Be- yeah, American because Girl. Dude. It had a the long triplets. last intro, and then the outro was just all taps. Oh, and true. I forgot about that. I was going to say, that's like a resident sleeper pick right there. But I, I, no, I, I, I it is like kind the, of a sleeper pick. Like, it's a kind yeah. of a fun song. And, and then like the uh, Soul to Swing. Like standard same same yeah, with Soul the, Soul like another swing. sleeper pick. I mean, like uh, uh, everybody knows the Soul to Swing solo. But um, that was also a, a good one. Uh, was no like, one's done to with depend everything, on. Die for Nothing? Oh, Done With Everything, Die for Nothing was also on there, I believe. Yeah, that was also on there. But I'm not sure about Demons. I swear Demons was on there, but maybe I banned it. Or, like, nobody picked it because it was just, like, uh, it was too weird of a song. Like, it's almost like people had an etiquette to be, like, can you, can you squeeze this song? Can you squeeze this song? No? No? Don't pick it. But, oh, like, it was wow. kind of quiet that way. Yeah. Almost. A gentleman's but agreement type deal. It was, like, a was... gentleman's agreement. Like, hey, can you squeeze this song? No, I'm terrible at squeezing this. I was like, oh, I can't squeeze it either. Like, All right, sounds good. I'm like, picking it. Nobody, Thanks for the free yeah. win. That's, that's yeah. me right there, baby. <laughs> Ruthless. I feel like everyone kind of, like, um... Did intel like they everyone kind of was like jack bauer 24 like what is my opponent good at what skills are they good at what can i pick against them yeah, it was almost more logic like yeah yeah, yeah. kind of like scouting people, for your opponent like that people whole like were, people were doing thing. that in off season too which was awesome they were watching our matches to figure out like like fucking good, game freak game freak was doing that he knew like yeah, i Kingsley i saw was doing him. that shit too he was like i don't want to yeah. play rocky like a hurricane or like i don't yeah. want to play impulse I'm not good at impulse, but I'm good at Rocky like a hurricane, and nobody else is. And I'm like, yeah. hey, you know what, man? Every, that's, everybody that's was some, missing. That's some. Yeah. That's some like uh, mind games that brings me back to the old days. Absolutely. And, you know, that was like that was a huge that was a huge deal to me because I was like, damn, I remember doing like some of that shit in the World Tour days too. But GH5, it was a lot more chill and a lot less like really, uh, really kind of cutthroat like that. Because true, you know, yeah, and that was that was 2010. Um, but yeah, as far as like other uh competitive set lists go, do you remember the one from the Midnight Gaming tournament, Jason? That one was a yes. weird one. That was yeah, a well, weird set list. It was different tr- from the World Cyber Games one. That tournament in general is one that we should talk a little bit about in the future because it was Oh yeah, no, I think supposed it to be up. yeah, it was supposed to be McDonald's that was behind it and oh, then it was that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was this guy who basically was like, yeah, we're going to be the future of esports. And uh, they put money into Smash and Guitar Hero, and then it just disappeared. Like, we'll see you next year. And they just vanished. Internet site disappeared, everything. But um, I think... Well, they, if they had done it this year, they would have been loaded. <laughs> I remember... The, the Smash, I, remember I don't know about that, bud. The... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nowadays. Guitar oh, Hero that's, 5. That's some shit, man. Guitar Hero 5, they had in the in the tournament, Do You Feel Like We Do, as one of the songs. So what? 15 that's minutes. Bad. That's uh, bad. <laughs> for one song in each match. That's, that, that song should be Gentleman's Agreement did every single time. We're not yeah. playing this hey, shit. Hey, man, you I ain't doing it. Band. I that's ain't too doing it. Long, man. It's too long, and the only hard part is at the end. Every, if you miss before that, it's just because you're not paying attention or you fell asleep or something. Which Boring. sucks for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I will zone out so hard playing if I'm not, not doing something interesting I, with it. I it happens oh. to me all the time. I, I think there was a point in time where I was like, I have to have see this. I have to like have see this song. And so I had to be obsessed with the song to to be able to like, okay, this song's really short. Bob Mayo on the keys. Like that that's like my favorite line in <laughs> Do you feel like we do? <laughs> Bob Mayo Bob Mayo in the keys. Bob Mayo. Is that like is that like your your fucking benchmark where you wake up, you're like, oh Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, we're like six minutes in now. Okay. All right. See, and then and then I, I do like the do. solo and then it's like a little bit more sleepy time and then and the, the weird ending. outro. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. You know, it ends when you, on when a down strong. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, you gotta remember ups and downs and where you start where you're on but pathing does that kind of thing for me too 
where you already have like kind of a built-in benchmark for the songs. Like, you know, if there's four activations, you're two down, only two more to go halfway through the song, or for, for long songs like that where there's like 12 activations, you know? Oh, if you get to that God. halfway point, there's always something that you're thinking about and looking forward to. So it looks, so like your, your brain is more engaged throughout, throughout that entire song. So like for Do You Feel Like We Do, I want to say there actually is like 12 act, 12-ish 12 activations. Most of them are boring and pretty much inconsequential, but the last couple, those are where all the points are. Those yeah. are the ones that you're actually looking forward it's to doing because of all the chords. It's all chords, dude. Yeah, but for the boring for the boring parts, it actually keeps it more fun, which is that goes for every song, you know. And, and that's why I've kind of uh, really latched on to squeezing and pathing for the entire games because there's almost unlimited replayability when you do it that way. I sure. found the world tour song list. I think. I think I oh, it's at, it's uh, it has been. I think it's been backed up on a place. Archive.org. Uh, it's a very interesting place for it to be on. I don't even know what the fuck yumpu.com is. Oh, you yum- don't know yumpu? I don't know what yum- the fuck this is. Poo? Yeah, yeah. Mm, yum Y W M P U. Yumpu. Oh, okay. Yumpu. The hell? Yeah. <laughs> so the song list went like this. It was a pool of oh shit. Um of ten songs. Here we ten. go. Ten. Uh Purple Haze, Hot for Teacher, Scream Aim Fire, Trapped Under Ice, Overkill, yep. BYOB, Pull Me Under. Prisoner of Society, yes, Mr. Crowley, and Demolition Man. Oh, and uh, Satch Boogie as the grand final choice. That was Satch Boogie was grand finals. Prisoner yeah, Society, yeah, dude. that was for grand finals. Yeah, what a banger. Yeah, Demolition Man was a huge one. I remember that one being picked a lot. Yeah, because um, the intro, it's cause, like cause it's the easiest the, one or what? <laughs> just be, I don't know. I think the intro, just, right? People were like banking on the fact that oh, okay, it's taps. Someone's gonna fucking slider miss. notes. Yeah, slider, slider notes. notes someone's gonna that. fucking miss because it's it's a bullshit mechanic in World Tour at least. Yeah, uh, manageable for other games. A bullshit like in World Tour. Horrible. Um, and then I, I remember Prisoner of, playing some Prisoner of Society, but no one ever. Yeah, the going back to the gentleman's agreement. I don't remember people playing Pull Me Under. I don't remember the fucking well, path the was too long, I don't remember. Right? No. I don't it's remember long and like mostly boring for a lot of it. I don't remember giving a shit about Pull Me Under. So I think nobody picked it because that song was just too long. But yet we had song yet we had Overkill. I think yeah, that's that I think boring. it's cuz like Overkill is just like Overkill's more It's just a boom in the whole song yeah. like, energy. like Jake was saying. It's just big energy. Nobody's fucking falling asleep. And like, there's not much of not much for patterns. Like there's a lot yeah. of randomness. Like it, it's not very repetitive. It's a similar uh, like riff that you're playing all the time, but it's there's a lot of variations with the chord changes and like single notes. Yeah, it's not the yeah. same thing. It's very easy to like if you're not paying attention, mess up because it's it's different for for most of the song. It yeah. changes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. No pick. one wanted. No one wanted to fucking deal with pull me under because like mm-hmm. I I just don't know why. Uh, but it seemed like nobody wanted to play it. <laughs> I, I got a story about Prisoner of Society. Do you guys remember back in the day, there was a dude who went by All Hopes, Lo- All Hopes Lost? All Hopes Lost. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. They've yes, been in my yeah. stream, yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, really? You know, nowadays? Yeah, cool. like yeah. within um, the last year, I think. Yeah, I actually, mm. I, I saw, I got in contact him with like once about a year ago too. Regardless, besides the point, back in the day, he ran a small um, contest um where the the main prize was 10,000 Microsoft points. Oh uh, shit. And it was That's it was lot. who could who could FC uh the the solo in Prisoner of Society the most times in a row. They would win. <laughs> oh. What? And I, I I submitted for that. I think I got something in the teens. I I, I didn't win it, but I I, I did participate in it and 10,000 Microsoft points is a That's lot. A lot. Yeah. That's a lot of points. That's, That's a lot of DLC. That's close to $200. Yeah. That's like 170 yeah. bucks right there. I don't I don't want to throw the man under the bus. I don't want to throw any false accu- accu- uh, accusations towards him, but there was um, that was a popular thing back in the day for um, uh, people who, uh, we'll say shady folks, uh, would hack a Microsoft account and load it up with Microsoft points under the saved um, credit card information, and then they would just sell that account for cheap. I'm not, I'm not saying oh, he that, did that, but that was a common oh, thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was a kind of thing that they did, and then you would just. What, and then you'd sell the, the account or what? No, no, you'd sell the account with those Microsoft points on there, so you could buy and that's DLC how, on that's that how account. That's how you would claim it. Yeah, you, like you, that's you would crazy. buy an account with Microsoft points on it. We'll say you know ten thousand huh. Microsoft points was probably like what would that be, hundred fifty ish bucks? You could yeah. you'd buy it for maybe yeah. like eighty, and then you know that's that's pure profit for this hacker discount, person. Bro. Yeah, like discount. Shit. And then what you would do is you'd buy songs or whatever DLC you wanted with those Microsoft points. And then you would just like license transfer it to your to your own account, or like do it on your own Xbox. I forget the yeah, entire I, process. Yeah, I remember but... that. Yeah, license transfer. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, but yeah, essentially that was that, that was buying like stolen Microsoft points on an account and wow. getting to that way. I, I know you, that man. because I did it. And yeah. I didn't when I say I did it, I didn't hack people. I bought the accounts. I was the person <laughs> buying an account. I didn't know how they did it. It was years later I figured out how they did There's it. Okay. Yeah. People still kinda do shit. that with Steam people still kinda do that with like Steam Steam yeah, accounts. G- these yeah, yeah, G two A. You go to you go to these second hand keys, it's like, hey man, you want Elden Ring for like ten dollars? Yeah. Hey, yeah. here you go. You have this shitty ass account. There you go. Great market. <laughs> it's like and then put it recently. in family mode. Put it add yeah. it to your Steam family, and then there you go. You can play it on your account. I've seen reports of people recently getting, like, games that they purchased 10 years ago, like, from some sort of shady third-party key seller, getting revoked from their Steam account because whatever credit card that it was purchased on originally, or some sort of, like, process of tracing back that purchase originally, linked it to some sort of shady behavior, and the key got deleted from their account. Jesus. Oh, like, wow. Like, somehow oh, there's, there's, a, there's a paper trail for those things, and I have it's a like... couple of those things, so... <laughs> Maybe maybe we'll get revoked someday. I don't know. It's like, bro, I was broke. I just wanted to play you, fucking you Battlefield. Watch out, homie. <laughs> I just yeah. want to play Battlefield, bro. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. I I didn't know. I you know what? I kind of vaguely remember about that Microsoft Point thing that you were talking about. That's insane. Like that was that was definitely a thing that I had like an idea of, and I was like just too scared to do it, or like I was too scared to be like, yeah, you know. I'll, I'll take this account because you got Microsoft points. I'll take it. No, yeah, I wasn't. I think I was presented the offer, and I'm like, that, "This sounds weird. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be here anymore." <laughs> yeah, I, I was also one of those dumb kids that uh, would respond to those message to all friends and recent players <laughs> for 1,600 Microsoft points. I'll give you a 10th prestige lobby monitor for two. I'm like, I'll do that. I gave my fucking Xbox Live account to some random person who solicited me for a 10th prestige lobby in Modern Warfare 2, and I got 10th prestige in Modern Warfare 2. And yeah. COD 4 and World at War, all for 20 bucks. Did anybody yeah, ever nice. ask you to recover their profile to get you the Through the Fire and Flames achievement? Yes, I've done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, not for that, that achievement specifically. I've done that, I've done that for, for other friends. Ones, I've done that for yeah. like friends that I knew and they knew me. Yeah. So I was just like, hey, you want the achievement? I'll give it to you. And, be like, eh. and he was like, eh, I don't know. He's like, bro, come on. You know I'm not going to do that. And he'd be like, okay, that's fine. And I, and I would do it for him. I, yep. I'd get him the 750, like easy, and be like, here you go. Like same hour. <laughs> the same yeah, half, yeah. no, same yeah. half, same like. I've done that many times. Back to him. I've yeah. done that many times. There was yeah. even like recently within the past couple of years. Wow, uh, there, there, there's <laughs> there's a dude on my old friends list that that was was going towards like full um full uh what am I talking about? Machine Thousand gamer score on on yeah. um Smash Hits, and he needed like to he needed the, the raining blood on drums achievement, whatever it is, getting five stars or getting over three hundred fifty k or whatever. So I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll do that for you. So I got his account, I did it, and it, it was all good. And then there was another guy who found me on trueachievements.com because uh, I have 100% completion on Power Gig. And he was like, how'd you do that, by the way? Oh, man. I, thought you, I thought you couldn't do that anymore. I'm like, oh, buddy, let me tell you. Oh, no. Let me tell you. <laughs> and he was like, could, could you just like do that for me? Could you like, here's my login credentials. Could you like just get those achievements? <laughs> He's not I'm like, joking. Fuck yeah. He has, he has yeah, all, of, it. He has all he the does. achievements. I saw it in yeah. person. And I've done it for multiple people. There's like two people, I think, that hit me up after I had done it myself on True Achievements. They're like, hey, could you do this for me? And I did it just for fun. fun. It was fun. Why? Yeah. It was fun. Yo, 1KGs, you know, 1KGs, that's important. I I Mm -hmm. played through Power Gig with Alec, and it was not fun at all. It took us at least two hours into the stream that we did it in to realize how to actually progress in the game at all. This is hater talk. (laughs) And Dude, then like we, we were... found out how to do it, and we listened to this really good song um, <laughs> called Innocent Man. <laughs> and we listened to that song because it, sh- <laughs> it was the shortest song in the set list. And it was we the easiest way to progress it. in the... Yeah, it, it was like kind of like Rock Band 2 style, but like not at the same time where like it, it just makes like... you repeat... It's well, almost like they, it was like a lazy version of Rock Band 2 set list. It's like and, get, and yeah. a little this bit of much... Of rock. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like career Mojo mode. Power. Mojo, yeah, Mojo Power. power. Yeah. Oh, it was dude, an interesting career mode. I think I chose Millionaire by Queens of the Stone Age to, for my shortest song. Yeah. It was probably relatively that's a, close that's to That's a better song. That's a In least that song remember, bangs. Like, I love that song. Yeah. I just remember, like, we, we freaked out when we got up to Retribution because we were like, we've been working eight hours for this. It's finally here. <laughs> oh, no, we, we got to play Cult of Personality, and I was like, let's go! Yeah. We get to play Cult yeah. of Personality! This is the original version. It's the first game to get the original version. And then you start playing, and it's like, this sucks! Yeah. <laughs> it was like, why are these open, <laughs> yeah, had open notes? Yeah, had open notes to get those open notes. Yeah. They don't that song, work. That song's that song's sick, bro. It's it's great. I love it. It's so fun. And I've I've used the I've used the power gig guitar not in game just like because we were we were at PAX one year and one of uh what, what's it was brought to our it was brought to our Airbnb 
Yeah. Um, as a gift, and it's still hanging on my wall right now. And yeah. so JP got to play on it on Clone Hero, and um, it's not good. I, <laughs> dude, the best thing I was able to do, I got a three X on Jordan Solo B, and it never <laughs> happened pretty good. again. Yeah, That's it never really happened again. I wanted to record it, but like it, you know, it happened. Oh, off, it happened off camera, but <laughs> it happened. <laughs> yeah, that that game is a mess. I Rock it real. Guitar. I hate but it. But would you rather play Rock that or would you rather play Rock Revolution? I was thinking the same. I had fun with Rock Revolution. Rock Revolution is fun. (laughs) Boring. Puts me to sleep. At least that engine works, bro. Hey, I don't know, man. Those vocals. (laughs) Chop Suey cover, dude. Hey, but Spoon (laughs) Spoon Man makes up for it. That's a good cover. That's a really good cover. And let's not forget that. Yeah, Holy Dude, Wars yeah. is something yeah. else. Let's not forget the, the, Steve, the Steve I met worked on that game, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, did. true. The instrumentals did are good. The instrumentals is what like, he did. He did the all the covers is what like kills month, all the right? covers. Yeah, like he a month. All, yeah. yeah, it took him a month to do that shit. All um, the guitar on it. And, yeah. oh my god. When I think of Rock Revolution, all I can think of is the Blink-182 and na 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 That one's egregious. That one's really bad. It's bad. Uh, Say oh, they no. so! I will not go! <laughs> it's, it's awful. And then, yeah, the Holy War, the Holy Wars covers the kind of unsavory, brother will kill brother! Brother will kill brother! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Man, yeah, the, a, the covers were good game. minus the vocals. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's not let's not like go. It doesn't go without saying like the Guitar Hero two covers like like Nirvana, Heart Shaped Box. Yeah, Guitar Hero ain't, uh, ain't, ain't escaping like from this one. Pisces <laughs> win. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Weak. yeah, it's like people people think of Beast in the Heart of the first. It's like, nah, man. There's there's worse covers in the game. Beast in the that. Heart is still bad. That doesn't get a free pass, yeah. dude. That, no, that cover is not free good. Pass. She's yeah, and then, like dwelling. recently, I, like there's people <laughs> shitting on the Black Sabbath cover covers, and I'm like, oh, dude, dude War really? Pigs is fine. Mm, War Pigs is great. War Pigs is okay. That's I mean, still love the not... menu when they, when it pops yeah. up. That feels classic to me. Oh, yeah. The vocals aren't good. The, all of the instrumentals, all the instrumental covers, pretty good. Oh yeah, I, I, I have I have no drop. real gripes with any songs, but the uh, instrumental covers. Excuse me, but it's the vocals that kills all of them. Yes, it's, that's the commonality between all of them. The vocals are just they they don't hit. See who gives up. Blah. And, uh, oh, blah. <laughs> that's what it. That's what blah. it was in the leaked version. The leaked yeah. version. Yeah. Yeah. They, they got in trouble got for hilarious. it. I think they. They. I believe Probably. they got in trouble. But I might. I be know. Wrong. That, I know that what they did for uh, laid to rest is that they found like a live video of Lamb of God and they copied their exact Marshall amp settings with like the head and everything and like the knobs mm-hmm. to wow. get the same tone. Wow. Yeah, I remember also, hearing about like, that. The thing, the thing with Guitar Hero Two that I think stands out to me even to this day is uh, the instruments in particular. Like, think of a song like Freebird. When you listen to the original recording of Freebird, like the solo is a lot looser in feel. Um, sure. And Wave Group uh, tended to do much tighter solos and cleaner. Like they played stuff a lot cleaner in the originals. Yeah. And that always stood out to me. Like Beast and the Harlot is like less muddy sounding on guitar. Um, like institutionalized just, is a big one too. Institutionalized, dude. That's like, a yeah, those huge solo, one. The those yeah. solo, yeah. Those like OG. That's well like a played. jam session, essentially. Yeah, man. I yeah. I love that cover. I think it's a very. It's, good I cover. love the institutionalized cover. Like I think I think that the singer on it does a great job because he sounds exactly like the character. Being I was in my room. In the song. I was yeah. just like there. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like it's like it it feels Sport it feels picks. like a genuine like a it's yeah. a good cover. They did a really good job with it. They did. They captured the energy really well, but yeah, that yeah. was the one thing that always stood out to me is that the instrumentals tended to be. I think that they approached it in the in kind of what we were talking about before, like they wanted to do it better than the originals. You know, yeah, that was yeah. their goal. Like, like, the women, and there, there were a few songs yeah. that they improved upon. Well, improved, they totally it depend, did. depends on me uh, by adding guitar solos. Like, there's some, there some songs that didn't stuff, have any man. guitar solos, but added it, and it works great. Yeah. I mean, I think they added on to. Um, Heart shaped box. They added a bit onto the solo. That's not there. That's an like extended the solo. Setting. Yeah. So um, they my, added a solo to Ziggy Stardust. Yeah. And my favorite example. This is a rock band one, but My Sharona. The cover my of Sharona. My Sharona. I love yeah. that song oh, in rock band. That that's that. Dude, yeah. that's I played that so much. I played. I played the yeah, My Sharona dude, DLC so I loved much. Playing man. That. Shut up, Priest dude, like, H for making a video of that song and like oh, that's a good song. Dude, and I'll buy that one. Uh, yeah. Action, action by Sweet. That solo, that Ooh. shit was tough when it came out. Shout out yeah. to JLC for that video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that the one with the weird ascending triplets? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, yellow, blue, oranges. Oh, yeah. God. So wow. scuffed. Or like, or like even like the Working Man cover by Rush. That was a great cover. Was sure, yeah. Yeah. Tom, yeah. Tom Sawyer, you know. Instruments, at least. Yeah. I mean, the vocals are something. 
They're yeah, the right. vocals are. Uh, I've never really, ha- I've never really cared that much about the Tom Sawyer one. It seems okay to me. Don't yeah. care. Oh, okay. They uh, ended up re-releasing yeah. it once they actually got the license. They did the cover, they did, and dude, then they, they released they all the movie cool. pictures and stuff. It was great. Yeah. Oh, and, which is something and, uh, Rock Band did great about DLC, by the way. Not, yeah. yeah. Keep going. Did, uh, I'm going to go on a longer tangent here. Number of the Beast and Run to the Hills too. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. They released the original versions. Yeah. Well, that came out with the Flight Six 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 DLC, and I remember that very fondly because, like, I woke up early to download that shit. I was so excited. I think I did too. Yeah, I got it right away. Yeah. Everybody was I, talking it, about that. Everybody was very hyped about that, in, that on the old thing. YouTube community. Yeah, a ton of uh, live songs. Like, I, I have fond memories of playing Fear of the Dark live on drums. I thought it was so much fun on drums. <laughs> or, like, Iron Maiden, the song. That shit Iron was really Maiden, hard the on song. Drums. I, I that shit's hard on drums. That. It's yeah. really hard. Yeah. yeah. I, I also remember, like, when Rust in Peace dropped, and I was like, dude. This that was is that so- was the big one. That, that was, was big crazy one. when yeah. Rust in Peace came out. I was like, holy shit. Because that was, like, that was like a dream come true. Yeah, for, for like myself and a lot of people. Like, I woke up early to download that. I was in an Xbox Live party playing that. Like, I I, w- I was the kind of guy. I always went in the practice and just played the solos right away. Like, I didn't play the whole songs immediately. Okay, I can relate to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like no, just DLC in general, man. Like, it was so cool to like always have something new every week. And like, it was great to look on Harmonix's website of like the blogs and them talking about like what they're what they're going to be doing this week. Like, um, I remember when uh. Chinese Democracy came out. That was a big one. And oh, yeah. the real the real rule of thumb back then for downloading any DLC was typically um tier four or five or six. That that that's that's the metric that you went by. Devil, mm-hmm. immediate buy. You know? Yep. Always immediate. Yeah, pretty much. T- tier five, almost always immediate. Tier four, you wanted to see a video first. And you know who you would check? The new Ellison Cruz. Yeah. 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 Ellison yep, Cruz. Yep, yep. Ellison then, Cruz, uh, who that's else the was channel it? you would go on. Yeah, who, that was him. Uh, yeah. He's he's good buddies with Toy Machine, who yes. runs all the fan sites. Uh, so Hero Feed and the yeah. Riff Repeater for Rocksmith. Yeah, and and Toy Machine does Buckethead stuff too. I know. Speak. Hey, yeah, so while we're talking yeah. about DLC, real quick, since I just thought about this, uh, I know that a lot of times for us, we wanted to see that harder DLC, and that's something oh, yeah. that. I, I feel like people were really looking for from Rocksmith as well. And Rocksmith Plus, I got to give them credit because they just released a full album from Death. On Really? Uh, that's huge. I, that's, that's awesome. Uh, that's what album like, is it? Uh, Crystal Mountain. Everything. Very good, insanely good choice. I would have either said that or to sound the Perseverance. Yeah, but have I they mean, ever been in a, in like a rhythm game up until this I point? I fucking know, dude. And Death? I don't no. think so. Death I don't think why, so. Is that's why I wanted to bring it up. Like, yeah. kudos. Hey, that's from Long Island, yeah, by the way. From get. Long Island, by the way, by the way, by the way. <laughs> from what I've heard, <laughs> Rocksmith Plus apparently signed a deal with Warner, and they're bringing a bunch more songs in, which if that's the case, hey, lay the groundwork. If we do end up getting a new Guitar Hero, if there is a Rock Band 5, start the, the music industry going, hey, we remember what this was like by releasing more DLC. Yes. Yeah. hundred yeah. times, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's, a cool, that's, that's a cool thing that they did there. That's huge. They signed a deal with Warner. That's going to yeah. get a lot of subscribers. I that's, that's yeah. I think I think in my a opinion lot. it's going to start bringing in a lot more interesting stuff and then a the, lot of the and like but it's it's still unfortunate cuz you know the whole like rocks rock you know like cups it's symbolic. Forge, I lied. Yeah. It's symbolic. Oh, symbolic. Symbolic by of death. The album. Yeah, by death. Oh, okay, still very good choice either way. Yeah. But yeah, I was going to say like, you know, with Customs Forge still existing thousands of custom songs that already exist you know for 2014 you know the people who wanted to get it already got it you know it's just gonna be a matter of not even a matter of time it's just everybody who's um fans of rocksmith are already doing uh customs on on 2014 um and then like you know it since it got delisted it's still gonna be uh sold as just a key on another website for years to come yep Mm -hmm. but you know it's also you know the console crowd the console crowd that didn't get uh that don't have um steam the steam version um yep. the pc version or anything like that yep. it's very rare that people are releasing customs for console you know i have it but um, i don't have cherub rock <laughs> oh, bro- oh no you can still get cherub rock you it's can still gone. get it no oh, it's, it's gone. gone oh no it's gone it's like gone, gone, it's gone. Now. oh the yeah. is gone right now too right cherub rock <laughs> is gone the, the license is gone it's deactivated oh no you That's would actually need to it? change it in the software now too to a different song wow yeah Rip. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like the, the I know for a fact the licenses for music for Rocksmith were ten years, and the release date from Rocksmith 2014 to the deactivation day is literally ten years to the day. So yeah. all the licenses for the songs, it's as soon as they hit ten years, they're gone from Steam too. 
and that's that. Yeah, yeah, and that's unfortunate. But I mean, going back to Rock Band, it's incredible how they've been able to to maintain their DLC library as well as they had with as relatively few delistings as they've gotten. They've even yeah. re, they've relicensed songs many times. Yeah, uh, because I, I believe think, like, they had five year licenses. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, give the guy who's this? doing licensing like give him a break. Yeah, give him a nice major break. props. Give him to a that guy. break. Like you know. Let them take a month off of work, bro. Like, and another thing too, they've maintained the same pricing structure all throughout. True. I mean, yeah, it was with some discounts. A song was, a, with yeah, some with some discounts. discounts too. A song was two bucks back in two thousand seven. A song is still two bucks today, and that two bucks today is much less than it was back then. So, oh yeah. In theory, it's actually cheaper with inflation. I think what I do want to say is like I want to say though maybe, and I can't prove this. I can't prove this, but if you buy an a legacy DLC, which like. Uh, what's like a really old rock band song that's still being sold today? Afterlife. If you buy Afterlife in Rock Band Four, that shit won't work in Rock Band Two and Three. If you nope. sign into the True. Xbox 360 on those, and so maybe they're like, "Hey guys, hey, we're, we're not supporting these platforms anymore, but we're still supporting this one. Please let us keep it." And so that's probably why they're like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever." Yeah, maybe. Go but ahead. if you buy it, if I you can't buy that it. same song on your <laughs> Xbox 360, you'll be able to use it on. On your 360 and on Rock Band 4. So True. if you buy the legacy version, we'll call it, 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 it transfers forward. But if you buy it, the, the new Rock Band 4 version of that same song, it doesn't go backwards. Yep. So yeah. that's, what, that's what's most likely will happen is that when the eventual um, Xbox Live Marketplace gets shut down next year at some point, I forget the day already, those songs will all still be available to play or to, uh, on your 360, but not to purchase on your 360. Yeah. You'll be able to purchase them for Rock Band 4. But he can't go backwards. Yeah, that's but major yeah, I, F, man. I also want to say that, like, even on, um, like, on 360, you go to Rock Band 3 Music Store, like, it's a small chance that shit's going to load. Yeah. Though. I don't even think that still works. I'm surprised. <laughs> I, I don't think, think I still, it does. I, I genuinely don't that. think it works. I don't think I it have does. That, I have the Guitar Hero one as well on my original Xbox, which is currently with Mackie, um, even though oh, he got, he store. ordered an RGH. Yeah. Um, but we're, I just really want to, I want to mention really quick, because I heard the word Legacy. Maybe you can guess where I'm going with this. With Legacy Rock Adapter. Band adapter? Dude, they didn't work. What the fuck are you talking they, about? It worked just fine. Mine works. It fine for I, me, bro. I, I, I still I got mine through, from 2017. I went through yeah, three, 15. and the first two of them, the, the, the USB broke off, and then oh. the third one just would not sync to my Xbox One. That's a very common really uh, issue weird. with yeah. those things, is that, yeah, is that the it. USB port breaks. I see that all the time. Where and it's if just you a broken open up USB the adapter... Port. It's literally just um, the front controller port on like a 360. Yeah, it's like, like the RF yeah. to a board. It's, it's really stuffed shit. as hell. That's they basically so reused, somewhere. They reused parts, yeah, like from 360s. But yeah, dude, like Rock Band 4, man, I it, it, like it sucks mad, bad mouthing Rock Band 4, but like the, the launch was just so bad. I will <laughs> say, I think people are probably going to get into Rock Band a bit more now because of Sanjay's firmware rewrite. Yeah. Which is very, very public that people talk about that, but it's not released yet because I think he's working on like licensing and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't we're think sure we're trying. That... We're trying to get we're we're trying to get licensing done because uh, a lot of people are making guitars now and selling them on platforms like Etsy, and they don't credit Sanjay, which I personally have a huge yeah. issue with because you would not have a job if he didn't exist. Like I'm sorry, exactly. Just you're selling truth. you're selling controllers yeah. for like two hundred bucks and not getting credit so to the guy been, with the software so... on it. I sponsor Sanjay on GitHub for like thirty dollars a month, and like pretty, much I've encouraged everybody who makes guitars to do the same. Katana does so. Fire Exit Man, even though he doesn't even make guitars anymore, um, the people who make guitars do this. And um, you know, we've always believed that Sanjay has done a great deal of service to the community by with his work, and that um, licensing would be great. And I know that people are gonna get mad and be like, "Well, what the fuck," you know. But it's like, look. You know, people are commercializing this now. It's changed. Yeah. Like, when he yeah. made it, he didn't expect this to happen. Like, he was just sure. making a tool because he wanted to make it. And now it's gotten to this point, and I am more than happy to pay him. He deserves to be compensated for his work. Yeah. I, I believe that. It's and a great piece he, of software. The it's tool brain is dead easy to use. It's and insane. He's, he's not going to take down the old one, but you're going to miss a lot of features Yeah, if you don't and get the new one. One of the big a ones. Lot. Is we're gonna, yeah, because I, I brought that up because... One of the big ones is just plug it in your Xbox One. There you go. That's amazing. That's huge. Plug your Ardu- plug the Arduino guitar because you know how hard it is to get a fucking Xbox One guitar. Yeah. You know how hard it. You know the Legacy adapter goes for the in the thousands. Oh, <laughs> that's that's for the dress for the drums. 
But for but the guitars, still, it's like three hundred bucks. Yeah, drums can yes. do MIDI. Drums can do yes. MIDI. Uh, our Arduino with MIDI. So it's like still, you can you, you'll still be able to do that. And now ah. you know, you know. Shout out to the Roll Limitless book reader. Yeah, yeah. He's been and his, his stuff is great too. That he's works. Been doing workarounds forever. And yeah. he's he's like he like cracked the code on the Xbox One stuff. And I don't know if Sanjay's worked with him or something like that, but um, I yeah, think like the whole Xbox right here. One breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Xbox is One guitar ro- roll limitless. Yeah, it's great. Works perfectly. Wow. Well, wow. I should I I, sh- I should bring up um, Alec that uh, a server that we are in, um, our our good friend, uh, we call him Jordan, but his real name is Jaden. Don't ask. <laughs> yeah, uh, Xbox. On November 12th, 2023, Microsoft will no longer allow unauthorized third-party accessories to be used with its Xbox consoles. What? Oh, what? To, so oh. they're they're going to be expanding its program for approved third-party wireless Xbox controllers, so they're likely adding a way to actually detect this stuff. Kind of like the same thing that they did for a dev mode, it sounds like. And I, I was just, just getting so excited. This. What the fuck? I mean, no. I hope this saying? still work. <laughs> So you're saying there's a there's a remote possibility that that roll MLS will no longer work. It's it's possible. You might need to talk to book reader about it so he can get on top of it hmm. beforehand. Oh no, guys, this is the shit that we have to deal with. They don't want us to have any fun. We have no. to, like, yeah. this is what we've been dealing with. Like, They're trying to no tear way, us down. If, there's no there's no man. new instruments. Like this is like it's a problem, man. You know, I can only do so much. The community members can only do so much. This is a big problem. Like, can I can real. I just like maybe <laughs> devil's advocate and say maybe they're forward thinking and trying to make it so that their guitars once they come out will be the only ones available? <laughs> like, <Cool>. man, <laughs> that's a positive mode in here. <laughs> yeah, it's that's, that's a way to spot, spin it. But yeah, I'm trying. A, it is a way to spin it. Yeah, sure. That's spinning's terrible. never a bad thing. It is a Jesus terrible Christ. thing. Like we, we can't. We can't we can't have any fun. Harmonix did like a. Oh, man, like a I just want. I was like, hey man, I can't wait to play through Rock Band Four. Again. Yeah, because now Harmonix did like a come out. like a like a Rock Band Four anniversary stream, and I was at, I was I was at your house, I think, Alec, and we 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 looked into yeah. it, and the whole chat was like, "Where's the new instruments?" And they just ignored it, every single one. But it got to a point where they couldn't ignore it. They couldn't yeah. ignore it, and it was he, bad. Did the, one of the guys, one of the guys, was just like, "Guys, I know you guys are asking about controllers." Let's put it this way. We've been knocking on doors and nobody's answering. Yeah. And so, but then after yeah. they said, after they said that, there's still questions saying, so where's controllers? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it'd be it was, such a, a tough disaster. job to be a bad. harmonics PR guy or whoever their, their um, community manager is, because and, you're inundated with questions that you either can't answer or don't have a nice answer to. So it would just, yeah. there's no winning. In yeah. that. There's no winning. Hey, and, hey these know, new DLC songs suck. Why don't you license X band? Or hey, there's no more instruments. Where can I buy instruments that aren't five hundred dollars? Well, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just better to say nothing at that point because whatever answer you say is going to be well, it's going to be bad. And it's going to look bad, and it's going to negatively affect the brand. So, unfortunately, shut up. Say nothing. When, when your community party manager sucks. Are you kidding? That's we have like experience. In this, there, we have experience. Yeah, That's like, like, two weeks, man. You what can't the fuck. You can't like say anything that you you know Fucking you have to controller get controller DRM. Sorry, I'm just you're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> it's one of those things that I feel bad for the messenger here because they always the ones that get shot, right? Yeah. It's people behind the scenes, right? I remember there was a, a, a fuck when I worked on a card game at UB, somebody had told me they're like, I go to sleep at night hoping you're homeless, and I'm like, oh. Oh, I remember getting a cardboard sign, taking a Sharpie and writing a note to them and taking a picture of it from the from the frickin street and just replying to them with that. So that, you know, like trying to get people back on my side, just joking with them, you know, but like, yeah, no, it's not, now, oh. nowadays, it's just nowadays on social media. It's just like, you know, these people aren't real. You know, this, Don't this shoot not, the messenger. Not <laughs> real. Yeah. None of this is real anymore. It's just Look, being, <laughs> being a community manager is hard, man. You know, like I. I mean, like answer, answering my work emails is hard. Like, <laughs> you know, like it's like, like this shit's not easy. Like, um, you know, again, like, like major props to, um, you know, like, like you guys were saying, like, you know, whoever's managing this kind of stuff with Rock Band Four, because, yeah, um, it's not really like Rock Band Four had a rocky launch, but I wouldn't really consider it Harmonix's fault with the instruments. Like Mad Cats made them at that point, right? Yeah, it was a PDP. Yeah. No, PP Mad took Cats over first. after Mad Cats okay. went under. But I mean, dude, they fucking they bombed it. The instruments were bad. 
Yeah, yes. they like, were just gen- they, genuinely they were not good. The worst official yeah. instruments that have ever been released. The guitars were yeah. fine. The they, they didn't really have any problems. Yeah. The drums well, were yeah. dog shit. The drums literally, the wor- had, literally the worst official drum peripheral ever made, including the power gig drums. Yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I've never I've never owned an Xbox One Mad Catch drum kit, but I have played on one, so I know so how bad. bad it is. I have mine I, in my attic still. I I need to sell it because I yeah because they're still Xbox. worth money. People it's still for buy Xbox, them. and I'm never gonna use it. But it's because yeah, like, people are so desperate for instruments nowadays. They'll get yes, anything. Piggies yes. want slop, dude. Give like, me slop. Yeah. Yeah, like fucking, no, like me, like S fan S fan bought like a whole rock band for a wow. band in a box kit for Xbox One. Like, I yeah. how much money do you think he paid for that? He, I think he bought those uh, fuckers on Amazon too. Yeah, dude, ah! like several hundred dollars. Yeah, I get that new. he's like a, a a very successful streamer and he's an OTK, but like, uh, yo, remember, you you shouldn't um, have to do that. Speaking of Amazon, when they did the uh, when they did the rock band for Rivals launch, they were partnered with Amazon, I believe. Yes, and um. They, there was something saying that Harmonix was like faking the reviews of their own product. Oh yeah, um, I remember that. That was a oh, big yeah. Thing. Oh, Employees yeah. are posting reviews without disclosing their employment. Without in- disclosing that they're an employee. Wow, love this yeah. game. Ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this like game that. is really good. Like, <laughs> this is the best rock band experience in years. I don't know if that's what was said. But, I bet you know. the developer for Close this enough. looks really sexy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, uh, and and I'm just saying that there's public, there like this is like public information. These are things you can like look up. You know, when people do reviews of their old, you know, of their old companies, and they talk about it. Oh, Glassdoor, like, right? Huh? Glassdoor. Glassdoor. I think yeah. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds about right. But like the Harmonix ones are just like, oh, okay. They're not good. <laughs> yeah, and it's just and har- it is like, it is what it is. You know, har- yeah. Harmonix <laughs> used to be this fantastic company to work for and i guess i should mention because we were we were talking about this in like the brain dump channel so uh i've met the composer of triplet right in person and um the secret song can... from guitar hero one by yeah. the way if you guys don't know and andy butch um and she confirmed the truth about what really happened so andy butch was a student at berkeley i believe um it's been a while since i talked to her so i might not get every single detail correct but she was a student and I forget whether it was it was like an internship or what at Harmonix. I think it might have been like an internship. Um, and so, um, Tripolette was originally a project called Advanced Harmony that she was doing for one of her classes, evidenced in the fact that that's what it's called in the Guitar Hero One prototype. Mm-hmm. And it sounded very different. Um, same bass structure, instrumentation, very MIDI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very MIDI. First um, ever bleep loop, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But but basically, what happened is that. Uh, she put the game. She put the song in the game. Uh, they weren't cool with it, and then they basically just stopped giving her work. Like she was kind of like shunned. At well, that I point. think you skipped a few steps there. I think she put the song in the game as Advanced Harmony Final Project or whatever it was called, and it yeah. sounded kind of weird. And if I remember the story correctly, they didn't like how it sounded because it kind of yeah. clashed with the rest of the set list. They it wasn't like very how it rocky. Sounded. So. She rocked it up a bit, and that's how it sounds in the final release, you know, hidden away. You can't actually access it without cheating devices. But it sounds drastically different than how it did in that prototype, and I think that's because they were telling her it needs to sound more, sound more rocky. But even after she did all those changes, they still didn't like it, and it still didn't put it in the game. So I believe she just went and put it on the game anyways. She put wow. it on the game anyways, and they, and they found out they got mad, and they just stopped giving her work, and so she had no reason to work there anymore, essentially. And, um, you know, I could... I mean, we could get we could get her on one day for the people watching or listening. Um, I'd be down. You know, I have I have I have I have ties. My friend was in uh was in kind of in a band with her, so I can get her. And uh, she was very open to talking about it, and I think that she would be again. So I just want I wanted to bring that up. If anybody is interested, like let us know in the comments. And that's you know? a very cool. of uh, graveyard shift. Gurney. 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 <laughs> that's all. That's all that Gurney. Be, that's Gurney. all that needs to be said because that Etienne video is now lost in media. Dude, dude, poor fucking True. Etienne oh, too. Man, because goddamn, I forgot all about that. Fucking media pisses me off, man. It wasn't even his I fault. All about that. It wasn't. Oh, yeah, no. it wasn't his fault. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guy was just a real jerk to him. Real jerk. So yeah, also honest. at the same. Also at the same time, it's just like maybe we don't really need to dig that deep and like be yeah. you know, releasing this guy's name. Even though he's credited on multiple rock band games, see like that's what I don't get. It's like yeah, the game's already there's out that there, too. But it's just like we'll should... never, we'll never know. But he's probably just one of those artists that you know 
doesn't give a shit. I mean, look, you know, if you're, I get, I get being ashamed of past work. I think everybody has, you know, yeah. gone through that. Yeah, at some I think point everybody, to to the most part, uh, they they look back at their prior work, you know, early on, they're like, oh, gross, I'm so much better Cringe. than that now. I I, yeah. I can make yeah. that way better, and they're like, every every aspect of my my like my time in the guitar hero community, everything I've done, I look at it that way between charting guitars, my playing like so much, you know, yeah, and to a certain point you should do that. Yeah. You if should you look don't at do like that, that because you're not, you're not improving. Better. Yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're not improving. You should, you 100%. should kind of look back at your prior work and be like, I'm better than that now because yes. that's, that's the natural Shit progression. It's kind of a banger too. It's not we bad. I don't think it's a bad song. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll friends. <laughs> it's like, bro, Come on, let's get that viral on TikTok. I'm just kidding. No, like, don't like, do like that. what was it like a, like was it like a, a test song or something? But either way, I, I mean, uh, you I, know, gu- guitar, guitar hero one. Like, I, I personally love the look of the game. Um, I think that the gems look really cool with like the kind of like, like, like scratch they have on them on the left side, kind of. You know what I mean? It's anime. It's like animated differently than like guitar. It is hero animated too. differently, but yeah. I like the like the last venue. I love the aesthetic of the last venue yeah. of guitar hero one. Um, yeah, and I, I'm just worried that we're not. I I just know that the Guitar Hero One demo disc is not it's out any. There. It's not any older than like release. It there's no. like no <laughs> way it's it's yeah. like any older than release. I fully like that expect prototype, it to be boring as shit. Yeah, like that prototype. Like no nobody knew that that existed. Like that that, that was we got, like we that got, was fucking we got weird. Real we, got, we got really lucky with um with that. To, like September 2005 prototype, but like yeah, that demo because, disc was dead ass. They probably just took the final version, like, ripped a couple I, songs. That's and, fully like, what I'm expecting day. happened. It, it was probably 100%. made after release because they the they the game was getting a little bit of traction, and they're like, hey, we should like start promoting this a bit more. So they yeah, built the like, demo disc, put it out in stores. I've never seen a photo of it ever, except for that one that was listed on eBay two years ago. That's it. S S L U S two nine one seven seven. Look it up. There was yeah. there's one image of it, and it's the one that I posted on my Twitter because I'm like, give me this. I will pay you five hundred dollars for this disc if you have it. Get in contact with me. I'll pay you lots of money for this. I need God, to I know throw, what's I on that, that disc. Preser- preservation so goddamn important. That's why I got that guitar in the in the fucking Strong Museum of Play because I was terrified that we would never see it again because it's a high yeah the proto the prototype uh, Guitar Hero World Tour guitar. If you guys didn't see it, it was just a Les Paul body with um. A, a world strip. tour touch touch strip, just like velcroed, velcroed onto the <laughs> glued onto the neck. It's just there's like a, there's a hole drilled through the, the the neck for the wires to go through, and it's just yeah. sitting on there. And, and it's just the works. It, apparently it just works in the game. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, and it worked, wild. And and it worked better than the touch strips that they ended up having to go with. By the way, understandably, yeah, because the world I mean, tour touch strips did not work that great. Yeah, they probably they probably during testing they're like, wow, this is a cool ass mechanic, and they're like, probably last day of manufacturing, they're like, yeah, we had to like decrease the quality of this by uh, like a thousand. We so had to we make this as many cheaper. Yeah. We had to make this really cheaper, and they're like, uh, uh. Like Brian Bright was probably like, oh, oh shit, uh, <laughs> like, is this, yeah, is this actually gonna yeah, work you anymore? know what, ship like... it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it, do it live. Fuck it, do it live. Yeah, <laughs> but that's yeah. what I, that's the that's the vibe that I got from Alex Ortiz that that, that Moose and I talked to. Like, uh, there was a lot of like uh, obviously like budgetary restrictions that ended up having the final like final hardware never ends up the same as the initial revision because you have to save costs somewhere. Mm-hmm. And um, they did that with Guitar Hero guitars, and I I will say, despite all of the problems that they have, they did a great fucking job. Like they did. For the time, yeah. in my opinion. Gen- generally did. speaking, Guitar Hero, gu- Guitar Hero guitars are a very sturdy, dependable piece of hardware. Because they had to be built uh, for children. They're going to smash it, act like rock stars, and just beat the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah sure, they have problems. And they especially have problems now, 17, 20 years later, however long it's been. But for the time, it could have been a way worse product. Have you ever played on a yeah, third-party guitar? That's what oh, it could have been. God. Yeah. But it wasn't that. Yeah. They actually feel great. The SG, perfect. F- Nothing wrong great. with it. No yeah. notes. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10, I'd say. Those things still work. Nothing wrong with it. They, they still, still work, work perfectly. I, 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 I saw like, like two SGs here that, like, they're so old. The red the red work. ones work. The The black ones might or might not overstrum. It's the like a 50 black and white ones are fucking indestructible, dude. Yeah. yeah the guitar I still have one. my black and white one. It is... It works. It's and if fine. they do overstrum, there's there's software limitations in Guitar Hero 1, 2, and 80s yeah. that make it yes, not overstrum. They yeah, thought of that is. kind of. Thanks, GMS. They thought about that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Red, Red, Red Octane, Red Octane, like had experience with the dance games, like making controllers for dance games, and they're like, you know what? Let's do this guitar E-bounce, game. Man. And so Red Octane was just like, yo, 
let's make Guitar Hero, and then they knew exactly how it was going to go. Yeah. Pretty cool uh, it brings stuff. me back to like that that interview with Brian Brighton. He was like, "Yeah, these peripherals, they're not gonna break." And that was for World Tour. And I was like, uh. <laughs> they, can't, "They can't broken." Well, <laughs> enthusiasm theme starts playing. Well, <laughs> isn't that like a magazine thing? Like I don't remember. I I don't remember. It was, it was in a here. video. It was in a video. Yeah. He's like, "These things, they're not gonna break." <laughs> I think it was when he was talking about the drums because it had like, okay, those I, raised I, cymbals and people were concerned about those breaking. Oh, Ooh, okay, I, ha- okay. I have it. I have it. I have it. Let me. Um, okay. So he technically I, wasn't wrong. It's just if you're a kid here. and you spun it around while it was connected via that wire. Yeah, you're going to rip the wire out. Yeah, and those wires them. have not uh, aged well. Have you seen what happens they to those wires after crackle, a while? Dude. They fall yeah, apart. Bad. Yeah, bad. it's really bad. Crumble. I mean, the wire itself is fine. It's the the like the uh, rubber plastic yeah, sheathing the, around the mm-hmm. edge. It, it 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 dries out and it crumbles. It, any small little touch, or if you bend it just a little bit, poof, it's gone. Yep. Now it's just bare wire. It still works. It's just you don't want to do that. Yeah, the team we're working this with has has been making hardware crack. for years and years. <laughs> These guys know inside out. This thing is not going to crack. Brian, spoiler Brian. alert: they did. <laughs> yeah. Those symbols would actually crack physically. Was I never did. I, think, but... I don't know if it was the symbols that fucked up for me. It was definitely always the pads. It was always the pads that fucked up. And the it wasn't like the, the pad, pad itself breaking. It was always crosstalk, right? That's my yeah, issue. Yeah, crosstalk was a huge if issue. If you're hitting green, that blue oh, might go dude. off. They or had to release, the, symbol, they had to release the, the, uh, the sensitivity tool. Yeah, the MIDI that. sensitivity yep, tool. MIDI I got I got a MIDI tool. adapter just you for that to, shit. Yeah, it was a MIDI <laughs> to USB adapter that you plugged into your PC. And yo, do you then... want do you want to know the best part? Alex Ortiz confirmed that that was originally an internal tool that they just released to the public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Adjusting the sensitivity, it's like you gotta turn it up, and then people were still like, "This is still not working." They were like, "All right, just fucking have the tool, whatever, man." Yeah, it's like whatever. You now have our internal tool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever what we wrong. use, it's good enough for us. It's yeah. good enough for you. And if you and play they, the PC version, it automatically installs it for you. They they would they would adjust every single uh, drum kit in QA with that tool. Every single one. That's Imagine crazy. having that job. Yep. That's so fucked up. <laughs> so monotonous and boring all they day. Were, yeah. But they were ahead of the curve by having MIDI like built into their kit, though. They so were. That, that was a very good idea. So that if they, you know, it's like, hey, if your drum kit broke and you're a drummer. Rock Band didn't have hey, that. Hey, man. No, they, they, didn't, did. they didn't get that until no. they had the partnership with Alesis and Ion. Yeah. And like, yeah. yeah, 100%. And then they sold that kit for, honestly, a pr- well... I guess adjusted for inflation, it's probably like three hundred bucks now. Yeah. But like back, in, you know, like seeing a a pro drum kit for two hundred dollars, you know, it's not too bad. You know, it's not terrible. You get what well, you got the two symbols and then a third. Sim- like you pay like fifty extra dollars to get the third symbol, but that pedal was ass. Oh, the pedal's so bad. Ugh. So bad. It was a hi hat pedal, bro. Oh, the roadie pedal. Yeah, the roadie pedal. It's a hi hat pedal, bro. I know. That's that's how I learned how <laughs> so to do bad. heel toe. I I actually unironically love that thing, and I hate to say that. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I I, I got used mine. to it. I got so used to it. My um. So the way that it worked was it pressed down and it pressed a button, and the part that pressed the button on mine broke. And was there was a flat, old... it was a little flat, bro. Yeah. It was a little fucking white. So there was, white there was flat. an old score hero mod to fix that, where you would just take an eraser and tape it on there, and that's what I did, and I still have it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. So yeah. that's the like... pedal that I used, and it just worked. To yes, stir sir. it up a bit. You know what? All right. It's just it's yeah. a fucking eraser, dude. That's it why it was quieter. That's why it was quieter because it's an yeah. eraser. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like that weird, like clunky. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because mine mine eventually fucking broke really bad, and then I I, I got yeah they my... broke on people all the time. Yo, remember the rhythm maker maker pedal from Blockhead? F- yeah, F-S-Bi? it looked yeah. like a real pedal. It had it had it an adjustable it spring. Had the... It had the spring on it. Yeah. Oh my you turn, god! You dude. turned it to a. I still have mine. I had like well. two of those. I never actually used that one. And, and then I, I have like the week. Dude, I have the Nico metal pedal with the fucking skeleton on it. That pedal oh. was awesome. That shit <laughs> yeah. was durable. No one I've only yeah. ever seen. I never bought one. Yeah, yeah dude. they were very durable. Very All durable. I keep the hearing. Party. All I keep hearing here is how much this set the stage for what we have now today. Because now, yes. if it wasn't for this, we wouldn't have the ability to hook up full MIDI kits in Clone Hero or Yark. Yeah. And yeah. hey, to bring it back again to Rocksmith, they just released a brand new MIDI instrument this week. You can now do piano yeah, on Rocksmith. Keys. Yeah. 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 You, you, you were playing that, right, this week? I tried it, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Yeah, the fact like, that yeah, you can... Down here, but it looks dope. The fact that you can take any MIDI keyboard and just go, yeah, this is so my furthest cool. left key. This is Wait, my furthest right key. Wait, does it work right with key. that? Yeah. That's awesome. 20, 25 to 88 keys, any controller. 
That's so really? sick. That's amazing. It can work with this guy. It can work with this guy. With as long as it's got 25. It has on the outside. I mean, you know what? Hey, wait a second. It's got two Shit. octaves? Uh, Shit. I don't, it, bro, I don't fucking uh, know. Yo, <laughs> it's not a lot. It's yo, not a lot of keys. It does. That ain't That's 25. Lot. Stop. That's 25? Shut up. Right, you, you got to play. I play, I play Rocksmith. It's C to C to C. <laughs> yeah. It's C to C to C that you can. Yes. Ooh. All right, guys. Oh, perfect awesome. tutorial on how to play Rocksmith plus oh keys. Oh, my God. Find the Rock Band 3 Pro keys. <laughs> yeah. This video is spot. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by Mad Cats. <laughs> 2010. I've got oh. one of those on my attic for Wii. I can Suddenly, use that. Lord yeah. Hero's done. Dude, you can use that, you yeah. that on emulator straight up. It just works. Oh, man. That's awesome. Well, you have to have the MIDI Pro adapter, but it just works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to find my keytar after this now. I got my oh, yeah. house. I didn't, Alec, I didn't bring, get with the it, bring that with me. Box again. <laughs> I have it. I have the little red, the little red box. Yeah! That you plug in the thing, the USB. It's in one of these boxes over here. It's in there. My mine broke. It, it had like weird sensitivity issues after a while. But I was yeah, also an it, idiot. And dude, I mesh head modded like my fucking uh, kick pad, and so it like triple registered like all the time. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it was a bad oh, yeah, idea. The vibrations was yeah. The vibrations, not... dude. Yeah, doing a, I did yeah, it because you, the night like the the mylar was super loud, you know. Yeah, no, I I but, kept the mylar on there and it was still really fucking loud. It was so yeah. loud, dude. But yeah, uh, that I don't even know where that kick pad went, but I know the pedal is toast. The pedal yeah. is toast because when I was in a band for a little bit, his pedal my I'd go to my buddy's house and he had a drum he had a drum kit and his pedal was fucking awful, so I just brought mine. And from and so I was using the the roadie kick pedal on a real ass drum kit. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, this is serviceable. This works out. But that shit was toast. Like after after like a couple years of it being used, like six years total of it being used. I that's a good lifespan though. Yeah, Decent. yeah, for a kick pedal. Yeah, I had I think uh, I had DW five thousand. Jesus Christ! Are yeah. those the ones on your drum kit now? Yeah, I, I ended up selling them was... to a friend, but um, nice. But yeah, that's what I, I I used a pearl pedal for a little bit, and then I got the five thousands. But I I also played real drums for a while. Um, it's all about that I direct mean, drive I mean, now. It's all about that motherfucking direct yeah, yeah. drive. That shit is I mean, sick. I mean Brady, dude. You know, oh like Rock God. Band was inspired oh. me to play drums in the first place. You know, the Axis pedals go for like like twelve hundred dollars, dude. Yeah, like Axis the longboard Axis longboard pedals. I'm like. And then doesn't, like, doesn't I'd be Brady, paying that off well into my thirties if I if doesn't I doesn't Brady them, have bro. like these crazy ones now too? Or they're even more expensive than Axis. Yeah, I don't know. They're probably made. like three thousand dollars. I, I yeah, wouldn't put it past like, him, bro. Yeah, I. Well, for him it makes band, sense. He's like the best rock band drummer alive. He is. He, yeah. He's literally the best. Him, him and like Chris Body. Yeah, his heel toe. Yeah. Brady's Impeccable. heel toe is. His I've yeah, never his doubles method, dude. Like and it looks so glorious to watch. His fucking legs are ripped. Yeah. yeah, they're ripped. <laughs> that, that's a that's a guy who it really bothers me that he's not he he wasn't partnered on Twitch years ago. To be honest, sure. understandable. It really, really fucking bothers. He's got to make me. more TikToks. He's just got to make more TikToks because he's Dude, already doing really he, well on there. Yeah. He just stop. Just got to yeah. just got to make out make more of them, man. Because everyone he, he loves really that should. shit. Yeah, like he and and he's funny too, which helps yeah. a lot. Like Brady's yeah. a really funny guy. Yeah, he's got a know? cool personality. Great personality. Yeah. Yeah. What what were we talking about? I don't, I don't remember. remember. Oh, we were man. talking about the world tour, um, the world tour peripherals. So yeah, I mean, like the the, the guitar like kind of survived for a little bit for me. I had to replace the switches, but then that thing was alive forever for me. Yeah. Um, and I think I think they really kind of peaked with the GH five guitar. That, yep, that's that just, thing is indestructible that thing for the most is, part. Yep. That thing is still working for me to this day, and I bought it day one, and I'm just, I'm so impressed that my my old uh, GH five guitar is still working. It's yeah, insane. the only common problems that I know of with those is that that rubberized coating on the button starts to degrade. It gets yeah. a little sticky, uh, yeah. but that's it, serviceable more, enough it, with a little bit of IPA. You right, it's rub more some common on there, the Wii ones fine. They, because they probably really? just cheaped out. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I, I don't have. I don't. I don't come across many Wii ones. It's all, all, all the Wii ones, ones that, I get. that I get. The three sixty ones are, they're kind of meh. But fun fact: the Guitar Hero Five guitar is the only one where you can use the neck from every single system on any console. Yeah, yeah what? universal necks. Yeah, because yeah. what they it's... because what they did for the touch strip is that they had the frets run through the touch strip, and then all of those connections run into a little IC chip that down converted in the in the the same four signals. Yo, that's yeah. sick. So, you so could like, if you put wanted your Wii buttons, you could yeah. you get, finally get your Wii buttons on 360. I did that for yep. a little bit. Wow. Rock Band 4. It's really nice. It is. It's really no nice. And, yeah. It was very nice indeed. 
Yeah, the only so, other problem that I know about that's pretty common with the the, the 360, at least um, GH5 guitars, is the uh, the battery terminals rusting out and like the solder connection falling off, which yeah, isn't a problem they, for the Wii because it doesn't have that. It runs off. They the Wii they, they corrode at the connections uh, really bad. Most of the so world it, tour it guitars like, have that very issue. easily. Yeah, it disconnects yeah. very very very. And easily. I know like 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 sync button issues. Like I did, I did, I did four guitars. I did I fixed four of I Kyle's, uh, four like five tars and like. Like two of them just had like syncing issues that like I, I just I was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these things. Like they just won't sync, you know. Do you ever try replacing the switch? You know, I did try that, and I think it worked for one of them. But then the other one was being weird because like I've gotten a lot of like PS3 five tars, and they're a pain in the ass. So I won't mod them. I just mm-hmm. take all the parts out, and then yeah, like, at put, that like, point stored, you just put your I own stored shit in I there. stored a shell away. But yeah, oh, like okay, I, okay, I grab okay. all the parts. Um, yeah, you just do your, put so your I, own shit I, in there. I, I have a lot of five tar extras, but yeah, like it was just weird, weird issues for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, like well, what's each of your guys' like favorite guitar or guitar to use? I guess. Oh, it's a Les Paul for me, yeah, by far. But my, my, not not stock. If you're talking about just a stock guitar, no yeah. modifications made, probably the Guitar Your Five guitar. Yeah. GH yeah, five, but if we're talking aesthetic, or he's a rock. Okay. Okay. That was pretty nah, cool. Nah, you know what? Cool. I, I'm with. Yeah. You. I'm with I, you. I mean, I'm also slightly biased. Oh hell yeah! yeah. yeah. My desk hell for no yeah. reason. Slightly so. biased. <laughs> oh, you just have the. Headstock. Yeah, just yeah I just have the headstock hell because yeah. I, I got like a big box last week, and it was just in the box, and there was no war tar to be found. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> I was like, "Why is this in here?" I uh, love the wings. A little freebie. Yeah. No, the wings yeah, are so great. Cool. Oh, it's so unfortunate that they didn't do anything. Shout out to the pre-order wings, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah, other yeah. wings. It's so unfortunate that they didn't do more with that. Like, right? With yeah, plates, I know. So many face so cool. Imagine the the possibilities with these wings. Yeah. You could put, you plan, could make it man. into any guitar controller. So, three D printing are, nowadays. People, yeah, yeah, people are three D printing them. Three D printable ones that the, the, the somebody made. A they guy look Milo really hacks. cool too. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Really cool. Yeah, it's really yeah. fucking cool. Um, my Modding one of those is a nightmare. It is so opening it up is oh, it's so bad. If you've never opened one, I want up, one one day. I, you'd, you'd I want think to you would just like every other guitar. You think you just undo the screws, right? No, you got to undo the screws, and there's a whole bunch of clips on the inside. You have to you like go pry, through like a like a credit card open. or a prior yeah. to like. And then the it's like off. opening and an iPhone, bro. It's like it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> there's like no space. It's like this big. The electronics enclosure. Yeah, so it, I, I mean because it's just a they... stick, right? It's a stick with a small yeah, like, stick. Stick, and then you got the yep. the wings. So the, there's Dude, there's very little spots for the electronics to be. So much though. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Probably. Like for Shout sure. Shout out to the engineers, man. They did a good job with that one, even yeah. if it, if it yeah, failed. Yeah, it is because, a well engineered you know, uh, piece of hardware, but it sucks it to work on. Which like I mean, the final yeah. idea that Red Octane Apple products. Had, and they're like, oh, just take also, it before we crumble. <laughs> also, the whammy, the whammy bar tends to be like the loosest out of any guitar I've ever used. Yeah. It's like always spinning perpetually. Mm-hmm. It does not stay still. And the strum bar um, and, the, and the strum bar is the device. And that shit sucks. It. Yeah, that like strum it. bar is not not great. That's like one of my oh, least look at favorite Jason. ones. He's like, I like the strum bar. I don't know, dude. I tried I tried playing it's, on it like last big, week, and I was like, damn. It's my problem with with Warriors of Rock guitars. Honestly, if if I'm talking War Tar, because I think of ties that bind instantly and that fast yeah. strumming. On console, that was yeah. hard with that strum yeah. bar. That was very hard. Whereas you know I feel that thing? it's like a hamburger bun, dude. Like <laughs> it's not. Fucking it. Cy- Cyclops Dragon loves that thing for some really? reason. Really? But yeah, yeah like no, I was gonna say means. like there are yeah. people that exist that love the Warriors of Rock guitar and like for you know Mega Pang loved it. He he used to love that guitar. <laughs> he he used it for like yeah, and he used that thing until it crumbled. Like it was in, he was a beast with that shit too. And so, like, he, he loved the Warriors of Rock guitar, and he was like, yeah, there's no, nothing ever like it ever again. Dude, just thinking of, like, <laughs> like that, okay, that one, dude. thinking of Mega Pang's, like, Onion Ring's reaction. Yes! Yeah, he goes, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fucking Kool-Aid man over Literally, here. Literally, yeah. Oh, you can link that video. You can link that one. That's a good God. video. <laughs> So what were we talking I, about? Oh yeah, the guitars. The fa- yeah, we're talking about the guitars. What are we talking about? Yeah, what is my, that? my favorite. We went all over the place. We're, we're, it, it's between World Tour and Kramer now, um, and obviously Kramer has to be modded because the stock Kramer is unequivocally the worst guitar. Uh, yeah, I have a stock in a, in a lot of ways. A lot of ways. Trash. A lot, a lot of ways. Just, that shit what are these ways? Because I didn't. I, I had never heard this before. I've never played. I, I never really used one. So no, uh, not, not, not a normal one that like to use on a PS2. I have one that's Arduino modded. The strum bar is, for some reason, the size so, of the um, Explorer or the SG strum yeah. bar. But okay. the so body it's... is, like, 
it's like almost it's a tad bit smaller than the world tour size gh5 body so but it's like comfortable in a way where it's it's almost like less paul comfy but you get the look and kind of yeah. the feel of the world tour yeah it's like it's like a compromise and I guess, so there you know there's what? a few problems like the start and select positions yep, right that's They're a big problem here. for me Huge so you can't for me. you can't you do can't this do, you have to you, you have to use pink, the meat you have to yeah, pink you it. Yeah, the fat. meat yeah. Keep meat it. it. Um, and then I like that term. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that one. Meat. And then the, I activate and then with is, my meat. This is the other big issue. This is the other big yeah. issue. Yeah, pogo so, pens. Uh, Roll pogo your pens. meat. And um, Roll it. and the frets. Yeah. Uh, if they're not modded, um, for whatever reason, the ridges between the frets, the actual That's frets, activate. I guess you would call them, are really fat for some reason and they hurt, they they physically hurt the slide on like this they mm. really shaved right. those babies down baby yeah, get rid of them. oh that's insane did you bring that SGDQ? Those ridges. you didn't bring that yeah. one to SGDQ, did you yeah th th this is the one that you played on okay no wonder it felt so fucking good i was oh, like yeah, that's, i that's, don't know if i asked you if you sanded down, down the ridges. them ridges yeah yeah i was like uh -huh. damn yeah. that's what jaderen does he had me Makes do a, a big guitar difference. like that um but yeah like the kramer just it was a great idea and badly it was badly engineered unfortunately but uh, i guess the, modded, the best yeah the best way great. that i could put it for the body it's like s a smaller rock band body yes evidence so, by the like i mean like. the select button location too and everything like it yeah. was more similar um but also the latency was really bad that was a problem too you had to have oh, a receiver yeah. because it was for ps2 uh, and um i use that shit on a real ps2 it is as bad as you think it's it is. it's really bad it's yeah. fucking horrible it's really really bad but there's no yeah, way that i could even cope with it being good it was just the really bad the Kramer, when it works well, is really comfortable. Like, Drew has a Kramer that I did for him where it actually has the, uh, it, it's silicone still. It's not mechanical frets, but it, like, he's he's played on it very heavily. So these things, like, you can breathe on them and they work. You know, he swears by that thing. Yeah, JP, um, but... can I trade you a, a good modded one for my modded one? Oh, yeah, it's in my, <laughs> dude, I was in my shed last week. Really and I was bad. like, I was like, oh, there's a Kramer over here. And I picked it up and I realized, I'm like, oh, God, this is Alex because it had your yeah. the decal you ordered. And then, yeah. I, and then I felt oh, man, bad I missed that sitting decal. in the shed. That shit was so cold. Oh my god, I <laughs> yeah. miss it. No, and then like one it. day, it, I I accidentally knocked it over, and then the thing stopped working. I was like, Fuck. yeah, Oof. he and that <laughs> yeah, basically one of the one of the wires for the PS2 connector ripped, and I tried to have him solder it together, and it wasn't working. I he tried, got, I tried. And he, my he got heart upset, out and, and it was, like, and then I and then I came to his house, and I tried to fix it. With like a two dollar soldering iron, on, and I was oh, on the no. floor trying to fix it. Yeah, and then you're like, yeah, dude, the, no wonder this doesn't. No wonder you couldn't do it. It's like this shit sucks. And now you bring your yeah. tools to every meetup we have. Yeah, <laughs> which is uh, great. Yeah, I love that. Like I, I load it up in, because I can just drive up and I, I yeah. just load everything yeah, up in my time. car. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 dude. But yeah, you're, I, what's I your that Kramer. <laughs> what, what's what's your favorite guitar? Because you jump between like a lot of models, actually. Oh yeah, mine. I think. I, yeah, I don't know. Now nowadays it's the the fucking it's the world tour modded one, the destroyer. Yeah. Like yeah. nowadays it's that one. And whereas before I was like, oh yeah, I love the Les Paul. The Les Paul's the best. But now I'm just like, I, I fucking love this thing. Or, or. Oh yes, please, please, please. Oh, the please, new please, boy. Please. Yes, yes, yes. The hilarious one. This is the this thing, hilarious this thing guitar. Is awesome. This thing's the sick. hilarious guitar. I love this thing. It's like the best thing anyone has ever made for me. You want to show us that they like, uh, that cry for eternity? Uh, oh my god! No, you got there? I'm not going to. <laughs> Why don't you show no, us I'm that? I'm just kidding. Hey, so hey, you know your, 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 wife, your wife got mad at that man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll cry for eternity. The trills it goes like. Da, 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 da. So since there's two sets of frets, you can just take your finger and go. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Rub it in a little circle. Rub it in a little yeah. circle. Da, 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 yeah. da, 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 but it's really cool because like you can just kind of bend. The, you can like just defy what it meant to tap the yeah. guitar, and then you have these and, fucking strum bits too. But like, yeah, you, you know, have the strum. A, that's that's a whole so cool. Thing, you know what I mean? But big, big shout outs to Quake for getting the recognition that he deserves because I had seen him, uh, I I had seen him post about it, and I, yeah. I reached out and I was like, I I was basically like, hey dude, like you should you should make one of these for Alec because I just figured like, like I don't I didn't know if Alec would even like see a DM, so I was like, I'm just gonna do this. Right, and yeah, no, I appreciate and he, and that because like, he, 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 he didn't even it, name me yeah. when I was talking to him, and I was like, oh, it was probably JP that told you that, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't, you know, 
Your name didn't yeah, come up in I, our conversation, but I was like, yeah, probably it was probably JP. He shipped it to my house, and then I, I ripped his shipping label off. I put on my own shipping label, and then I and then I gave it to UPS, and that was it. Yeah, so, yeah, no, that that is the craziest piece of hardware I've ever didn't used didn't even for this open game. up because I I I had already seen pictures, and I was like, I want this thing to get there safe. I don't want to have to repackage it. You know? Right, and um, soon yeah, everyone's quite, gonna have one of those. Getting the recognition he deserves. It's a, it's no, I don't. A, no, I don't know. I don't know the guys. I don't know what the guys' workflow, but I know. I know he wants to perfect it. So like that's a, I, that's a really cool thing. I'm sure he's getting messages, but he like a I mean lot, look, he, sure. he, he he made something creative, which is what we, what we need. You know, we need more creative people like that. Like yeah, I've never in all my years, like I've never seen anyone just like kind of take that and be like, let's make this ergonomic and uh, yeah, and, and he yeah. did it. Yeah, and, yeah I, and I mean, I was like shocked back, at how nice it felt to to use. It ain't the first double neck guitar, of course. That that's oh Mr. God. Pizza. Yeah, that's don't, shout don't out don't to forget Mr. Pizza, about Mr. Pizza, which yeah. I still to this day think was viral marketing. It was 100. Um, percent It was. That was absolutely viral marketing because much like the Prisoner Society Bike Hero video, sure. um, yes, that, yeah, that was Activision. Yes. I think Mr. Pizza, that was. Yeah, 100 percent was. And that, this that is was why I know that. Activision. It's because the the video released before Guitar Hero 2 came out. Yet it was using um, Guitar Hero Two Red SGs, and it wasn't oh. painted. Ooh. I don't. Th- I don't think they were painted. Good call. It, I thought. Probably I thought not. it was painted, but like I don't no, think it video was. quality is so bad you can't tell now. No, you what? can't tell. But you I think um, 480i. It's funny because I just I just saw this video oh, not that long ago, like like maybe two weeks then, ago. I, I pulled it back up, but I, I think there's another video on that channel where there's a Red Octane employee. Yeah. Oh. He looks familiar to like somebody I've seen in a, in a like an E3 video or something like that. I don't want to say that for sure, but I think it was. I, I also thought. I also like it. My the, the evidence <laughs> to back up the claim is they got the fucking Toadies guitarist in the in the sequel to the video, and the mm. Toadies they did uh they had one of the new exclusive songs for GH2360. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's Kingdom. a little. I'm like, that's a little bit weird. Hmm, yeah, and they're just playing on regular uh, regular explorers too. Yeah, they regular didn't do explorers. I'm like, this it. looks like an ad. <laughs> this and looks like an ad. And it most yeah. likely was like they knew that shit. You know, guy in a goofy costume with a crazy guitar. Oh, they totally you know, knew. One hundred percent. They were they were they were smart. Yeah, for sure. I just I just got good news by the way. Book reader claims that the Xbox thing will not be something that affects them. Yeah. My my eighty five dollar product will continue yeah, working. I, I, I asked Sanjay, <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. Sanjay Sanjay lives in New Zealand, so it's morning for him right now, or somewhere around there. So this is around the time he answers. So I hit him up. <laughs> Hell yeah, good news. So that is good news, actually. Yeah, so good, good news. I, I can continue playing the video game. Yeah, Xbox yes, One Rock Band you. Four has a little bit more drip in the IV. It stays living. Yeah, get to get to ten, <laughs> a little baby. bit more. The I can't wait for that ten year like, anniversary. Hey, we got a tip, bro. Whatever, but you can have it. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know why you're still here, but you can have it. You're alive for a little bit longer, bro. I mean, yeah, we're we're still here. you don't know what he's doing here. I mean, he's still here. We don't touch him. We don't talk to him. We don't interact. In fact, we just leave him sit over uh, there. He barely but talks. Sometimes he doesn't he does. bother us, so we kind just let him be. Like weekend at Bernie's kind of shit, just dragging around the corpse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Actually, that's every, super every now and then he spits out a classic. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna derail for a second, Alec. Apparently, you've been featured in one of the biggest RuneScape content creators' newest video. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, Ben Ben tagged you. That's funny. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, why and how? His name. I, uh, it's 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 sicko mode because of course it is. Oh, of course, <laughs> I should have just expected that. Thank God, oh, man. Thank God hey, for uh, hey, Jimmy, Travis Jimmy, Scott. Jimmy's and, uh, a good channel. You guys should watch him if you play RuneScape. He's great. You probably already do, but shout out to Jimmy. I don't play RuneScape, and I never have. Uh, I I got on with Brennan Megapeng a little bit ago, and then I didn't want to play anymore because I was like, I can't do this again. I can't. It'll suck yeah. my life away. <laughs> I've done this the, once I already. Tell, I got to tell the story about how Sycamo even happened one day. Yes. Yeah, that'd be an interesting one. Because JP, I think you were probably maybe you were there. I don't remember. I think I was like not I don't there, know there if but you like were. I was around when like, it was happening. Because like it, it it like the reaction like my obviously like me reacting to the thing was like that was real, but the the reason why it exists was kind of that the, we we had like a plan with it, but the whole the whole thing was just gonna it was just a goof, and then it just blew up into this big thing. It was stupid as hell. <laughs> like it, it was very natural how it became like a viral thing. How many views is it at right now? Oh, like forty million. It's you know, very it's, close. It's thirty something, right? It's thirty nine. Last time I checked, 
That's cr- like that's crazy. Like that's oh my god, most of like the biggest creators like ever don't even have something that like is that big. I'm like that's yeah, that's crazy. an insane amount of oh, views. Oh, it's my, it's I, my I, channel's uh, birthday. I, Oh, hey! happy, happy birthday, birthday. Asai, my... Gamer Boy 28. Yeah, it's Gamer Boy 28. Is it today? <laughs> October 29th? It's you mean, oh, it you mean three days? It's, it's November 1st, oh, buddy. That's right, it's on, it was on my it birthday. Said it, it, said okay. it, on my, it said it on my studio. Yeah. Happy birthday. I'm like, I feel like it's a little late. It, it tried. <laughs> YouTube yeah, tried. There's a, uh, Abby tweeted uh, a <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> he really did. Does <laughs> FX Twit not work anymore? That's so funny. Oh yeah, he did. All right, that's that's sick. I don't know if FX Twitter works anymore. <laughs> I guess it doesn't. I think it oh, well. stopped what? working. No you can try way. VX or you can try VX or DX. No, F- FX. This makes no sense for the people watching at home, but yeah. No, I this is inter- this internal I dialogue. I just tried it right here with Abby's tweet, and it didn't work. So <laughs> really, yeah, that's what it, it is. What it is, I guess. Rip that's Twitter nice. even that's further. Hilarious. I Thanks refuse to ever call it X. I'm never calling Twitter. it that ever. It's nope. Twitter. It is Twitter. We all know it. We all we all used to love it. Uh, Twitter's a place. Twitter is a place. Remember, Twitter is not real. <laughs> no, Twitter is very them. different. Very yeah. different than real life. You got to remember that. Don't stay too online, folks. Uh, it's the terminally online. online. It's, it's okay <laughs> to be online. Don't okay live to, online. Yeah. For the terminally online people, you can still get out. It's still very early. It's to not get out. too late. It's not too you can late. Get it's help. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how you think about it. If all you do all day is talk to your ex. Regardless of how you take that sentence, probably a bad idea. I like that. That's clever. That's oh, clever. Oh my god! I like that one. <laughs> I haven't. This talked is to this my is ex. this is Elon's this is Elon's plan all along. Make them make them all talk to your ex. Yeah, I I don't get that dude's obsession with the letter X. You know the whole story about all that shit, right? Yeah, about he wanted, he wanted, to do he, wanted to, he wanted yeah he wanted PayPal to be X, and they he, laughed him out of the board. And now he's and, trying to make current X Twitter into PayPal somehow. Do you know how much Viagra that man had whenever he played on Xbox Live? Like every time he played Halo, all those screen names. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh yeah, the, the yeah JP's old name XXX seven sixty XX XX Sniper Boys XXX. It Every was, other it's name. It's cool. Olivia's nah, dude, old, my... uh, username is XXX. Olivia nineteen ninety six XXX. <laughs> lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. No, my that's my name, my my Xbox gamer tag was Te seven sixty because Doe was taken and Te was popular back then. On <laughs> yeah, T E H. Oh, yeah. that's a cringe moment for me. <laughs> dude, dude that was like te. back it's in like the day, yeah. bro. Uh. That was like Roar uh. XD uh. kind of shit. Uh. Like, oh. Oh. Like, at least, like, I, I never really like kind of it, endearing cringe, but like Tet is like bad, dude. Tet that is really yeah. bad. I didn't Tet, know you can't bring that back good. in an ironic sense and have it be funny. No, no and, way. And you can ironically say XD, and it's like kind of funny, tongue and tongue in cheek, but you can't yeah. throw it a Tet. The whole it just story. Doesn't work. Nobody says that. Tet. No, nobody says it. It's anymore. like saying lolzors. That, yeah, well, that, like, like, that's a, that that's could be falling. making a comeback, maybe. It I could see that making a comeback, a comeback as a very know, ironic it's thing. Gonna, it's going to be... Like, as a way of, 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 of poking fun at what, what we were like in 2007. <laughs> but I don't see Te ever being yeah, that is no. not sort a of thing anymore, man. There's no Or way. a Rafflecopter. It, it's long gone. Rafflecopter. Well, no, Orange Hat made Rafflecopter songs. <laughs> see, it's <laughs> coming back. Of course, because, of course, he did. But the Catch whole story... when, like, Preben Sorensen makes a te song or something. Dude, bro, he's still... He's the one to do it. He still I know. makes songs. I know. I just yeah, saw it the other day. He makes the most cracked drum tracks. Do not play his songs on drums. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> they are fucking impossible, dude. <laughs> that goes for most of his songs, any instrument, right? Love right, Preb. right. Shout out to <clears throat> uh, Ode to Hugh G. Rection. Yeah. Shit is fucking impossible. <laughs> Who's that okay, guy? Okay, wait. Yeah. The wrestler? <laughs> Tw- Hugh G. Rection. That that was a wrestler in WCW oh, yeah. back in the I day. I, really, I don't know. This is the song, the song was in like 2008, 2009. And then Toy Machine's Nightmare, right? Yeah, Toy Machine's Nightmare with the, the references to Raining Blood Flood all yeah. over the song. <laughs> Hugh G. Rection. That was, the wrestler's name was Hugh Morris before that. And he just changed it to Ooh. Hugh G. Rection? Hugh Morris. <laughs> his, his finishing move was called the No Laughing Matter. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, I don't cool know. Cool guy. Cool guy. So humorous. Let's fuck. Uh, what are we talking about? Yeah, Laura <laughs> Laura <laughs> to transcend like the guitar what are we hero. Talking about? Aspect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't... 
Try to stay on topic. What was the topic what again? What was the topic? <laughs> what was the name right, of we, we, I don't know. This the original plan was to talk about DLC. We kind of talked about DLC a little bit. We kind of were going to talk about like we we're going to talk about like the proto games. We did that a little bit, but then we just kind of kept going on with, with whatever we did. I think we did pretty well with our transitions. Good, not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, <laughs> you always found some way to just be like, "Oh, well." Speaking of this, we went. There's in. always something to yeah. talk about. We're always catching our something. groove, guys. That's what that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. We're catching our groove. You know, stick with us. A few so more episodes. Get... We're gonna be grooving. Yeah. We're gonna be the groove cast. Yeah. We're gonna call yeah, it the groove cast. You know, we're gonna get now. back to business on this next episode. We're gonna talk about AI. We're gonna talk <laughs> about women. We're gonna talk Bitcoin. about Bitcoin. All the, yeah, yeah Bitcoin. Bitcoin. drop shipping. Bitcoin. How you can drop make shipping. thousands of dollars every day? Oh. Drop shipping. You know, Dude, millionaire at nineteen years old. Business, I know a lot of yo. you need. To, yeah, yeah. No, don't ask why I'm not doing device. it. Just buy my buy my instructional guides. And Join my Discord rich. down below. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And you'll learn through twenty five easy steps. We're building our own lore. Is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, the lore hero lore. We're going to be a podcast called Lore Hero Lore. Fast. <laughs> That's gonna be our spinoff when, when we make our Patreon and we make a a, a premium episode for for ten dollars a month. You can get Lore Hero lore, where it's behind the scenes of Lore Hero. Uh, no, <laughs> imagine imagine how chaotic this will be when we eventually do like a live one and we're just like, all right, chat, ask away. <laughs> Oh my god! That's going to be a fun day, and then and then when we get big enough, we're going to do an in person live. We're going to sell out a theater of thousands of people, right? Let's go! Oh, dude, huh? let's Yo, go! Fucking lore here. Thoughts on the pitch? The right? I, you know what? I'm I'm going all in. I'm going to dump off my life savings. Off three, yeah, I'll do it too. You can have three dollars. <laughs> three dollars? <laughs> I have a few more dollars than three. Okay, uh, just a few. I've got at least five. This is my retirement account right here. I'm I'm, pr- I'm praying for these babies the, to, did we end to appreciate. We can no, end we it right here. I think this <laughs> is the end it right here, right now. Okay. I feel like you're, chat, you're kind of like guiding okay, us bye. out. Like, yeah. We, bye. See you bye. next week when we talk about drop shipping. Bye. Yeah. Can you make? Can you like edit it so that the screen goes up into some credits? <laughs> no. <laughs>